Welcome everyone back to Twisted Gaming TV. We are live once again. Today, I don't even know what we're going to talk about. Um, the, I guess I'll start off with uh, we hit 1 million views on YouTube, on the YouTube channel. Pretty awesome. And then we're on the road to um, 10,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. So I started the channel two years ago, September 8th, I think, 2018. And, you know, it was slowly growing before, and now it's kind of taken off, so it's pretty awesome. So the channel is about modern and retro gaming, uh, both. I can't pick one or another because I can't be stuck in the Nintendo 64 days and the PS1 days when everybody else is playing 4K gaming and stuff, you know, and you can't play no Call of Duty on, um, on a Nintendo 64, you know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome, Dragon Gamer. Fitz Frequency, Bozo the Clown, as I call him, and Alid Roberts. I guess I can pronounce that right. Anywho, so today we're just gonna we're just gonna talk, I guess. Um, next week is a big event, you know. PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X is coming out. So, wow, whichever system you go with. Good for you. If you go with both of them, that's great too. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, of course, I'm gonna get both of them because I'm, I'm just stupid like that, you know. Um, um, I do favor though, if you know the channel and my collection and stuff, I do favor the PlayStation and of course Nintendo. But you know, I do like Xbox um, also for certain personal reasons. Um, maybe we can get a. Uh, <laughs> A Killer Instinct uh, new game. That'd be great. So yeah, just uh, throw up the um, questions and stuff. And what do you think the insights is going to be next week? I mean, you know, do you think it's going to be nuts? Um, I do. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of scared, to be honest with you. What's up, Jock Jackson? I see you're ready for yours. I saw the accessories now. Yeah. What's up, Ron? Ghetto God, what's up? Um, yeah, I'm excited for the PlayStation 5 uh, and Xbox Series X. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get both of them uh, on launch day. The good thing is they're releasing um, two days apart, so that's one good thing about it. Um, you know. <laughs> You know, if, you, if you're trying to get an Xbox and you don't end up getting an Xbox, you know, then you can try to get a PS5. I mean, get something, right? And not, and, and just, just watch. Just watch and learn. I guarantee that next year it'll be announced or something, 
but we'll be getting a new Nintendo system too, you know, because they're about they're about due. Nintendo's always about a year, a year or two years um, out of the Xbox and you know the PlayStation consoles, but Nintendo is basically in their own league. You know, they don't pretty much they don't answer to anybody since they got Mario. Um, so it's always Xbox and PlayStation fighting each other, you know. We call that the console wars. And um, audio is fine. Let me check the audio real quick. We might have this stupid. No, it, it should be okay. We don't have the dumb webcam audio like last time. So I got the, I got the main one, so it should be okay. Um, it might be on your end. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, last time when I streamed, I streamed for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and I and I had it going on the stupid webcam and I sounded like Godzilla, you know, somebody told me. Uh and then we fixed it and the rest of the stream, you know, we were good. Um I did do the first um stream for Halloween. What was that called? Twistoween for the people that um saw that. That was pretty fun. Um but my favorite holiday of the year is Christmas time. And you're going to see, if you stay on the channel, you're going to see why too. Okay, so let's, let's see. I just don't like the PlayStation 5. It has 665 gigabyte memory. It's worth the wait. Well, yeah. Oh, gosh, man. You know, my PS4, I'm still running on the regular PS4, which is 500 gigabytes. Got the 2 gigabyte external drive, you know, slapped on the side, which looks completely goofy. But, you know, when we move into 4K gaming, why the hell couldn't they put, like, a 2 terabyte hard drive, you know? Even if they had to up the freaking, even up it, like, $100 or something. I mean, come on with that. You know, they're, pff, give me a break, you know? I mean, if you've seen my past video about um, Call of Duty, the Cold War, um, the the memory or whatever you had to run that game was like 133 gigabytes. Uh, I mean, good gosh, you know. Ron, my dad showed me your channel, by the way. His name is Robert. Sound familiar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, welcome to the channel. You getting any more arcades in your home afterwards? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I wish people would stop talking about arcades with me, okay? Because these consoles are great, right? I love all the consoles, right? But nothing, nothing in this world touches my feathers more than a freaking arcade systems. You know, if, you, if you've been on the channel, you know what I got. For the people that don't, I have a Guitar Hero Arcade. Um, I got uh, Golden T 2020 Arcade. I got the original Killer Instinct 1, Killer Instinct 2 Arcade, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Arcade, Mortal Kombat 4 Arcade, Cruising USA Arcade. I have a um, uh, Rec Room Masters um, extension um Gameplay Junior Arcade that's running on a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus. And then I got the goofy-ass um, Arcade 1-Ups. So I got a Rampage and a Golden Tee of one of that. Maybe someday I'll have, you know, the balls and I'll smash those with the sledgehammer like I did my Pac-Man um, Arcade 1-Up. So, yeah. But, anyways, to answer your question... There's two arcade machines, okay, that I have I've had my eyes on, and they're local. The guy wants, and I probably said this in another stream, guy wants like fourteen fifty for them, and they're original, baby. They're original, Virtual Fighter One and Virtual Fighter Two by Sega. Oh God, I want them so bad. Ooh, I I, I might do it though. Screw it, you know. Glad to inform you about the Target thing. Any games you're looking forward to getting with that? Mm. I've said this in the past stream, what games I'm looking for, but I'm trying to think what the heck they were. Um, one of them is I want that... Um, 
gosh, what is that game called? Man, you just made my mind go blank. Crap. Um. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What is that goofy Destruction All Stars crap? I want to try that game. They they brought out a new trailer of that. That thing looks sick. It almost kind of has like a, you know, Destruction Derby type, you know, Twisted Metal type feel to it. Um, what other game am I looking forward to? Cyberpunk 2077. I'm really looking forward to that game. That game looks sick. <sighs> but yeah, arcades. There's nothing like arcades, man. Original CRT monitors that weigh 5,000 pounds. And the freaking, you know, you can go kick the arcade machine over there and break your freaking leg and foot, you know. I mean, those things, there's nothing built like an arcade machine. So it's it's a bad addiction I have. I mean, I have a bad addiction to gaming, period. You know, it, it's ridiculous. Recently, I've been trying to, I wanted to update my, uh, okay, see, so yeah, I updated my gaming monitor that I play the, you know, PS4 and then the PS5 when it gets here um, to a 4K. Now... I'm trying to update my dual 27-inch screens um, that are hooked up to my Corsair gaming uh, PC. I really want... I've, I've been looking at a freaking 49-inch sucker. It's an ultra-wide 49-inch um, screen. Now, there's only a few companies that make them, but I'm trying to go back and forth, but God, they're expensive. Um, one was a a thousand dollars and then one of them was like 15 now there there is some though that are like three thousand dollars i'm not sure it's hell ain't gonna pay three thousand dollars for a freaking monitor to you know look at Pornhub on you know what i'm saying I mean, this is stupid um so you know my budget is about a thousand twelve hundred dollars maybe so we'll see i'm still researching on some stuff mm. 4k or 8k Man, you know they don't got no 8K monitors yet for computers. If so, I don't even know if a graphic card can even power that yet, to be honest with you. And that thing would probably be about 50 grand, you know. Get the Samsung or LG. They have the best ratings. Yeah, I know that, Bozo. Those are the two I'm looking at. What is it? Um, The LG something called... Gear clear or gear crap or I don't know what the hell it is. And then I've been looking at the Samsung one. That looks pretty dope. But they got three versions of that. And I'm like, God, man, what? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't know. But I want to leave, lose these two screens and just have one big sucker. You know what I mean? So on my backdrop, you know, I can put a beautiful, sexy, naked picture of myself on there. You know, with the Twisted Gaming logo on there. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, will my PS Plus subscription transfer over to the PS5? Yes, it will. Sure will. Um, also, their um, uh, the transferring the games from the PS4 to the PS5 is super easy too. I think you got three options. I saw a video on that too. So that'll that'll be exciting. And then we can just, you know, toss the PS4 somewhere else in this game room. Because we won't be needing it no more. You can find Donkey Kongs easily. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those. And Miss Pac-Mans and Pac-Mans. No VRR and 14P support on PS5 is a huge... Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, though, that... Sony is going to come out with a patch later. I've been hearing rumors about that. There's going to be a patch where it would work. But I don't know. That's just weird. You know what I mean? So if you have a a, a 1440p screen, it just downsizes it on the PS5 to 1080, I believe. That's what one thing I read. That's just weird. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. That's weird. But I'm sure the Xbox people are laughing about that now. I'm looking forward to Halo Infinity. Oh, Ron, Ron, Ron. You know what the sad thing is? I um, I never played a Halo game in my life. I haven't. Now, I've ordered one for my Xbox um, 
one to try. And, you know, I've heard it's a, it's, you know, it's a great game. I just, I just never played it. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. If I get an Xbox Series X, I will buy the Halo Infinity for sure. Do you think that Walmart website will crash on release day? Oh, man. Don't bring me the bad news, baby. Don't bring me the bad news. That's one thing I'm scared about release day is um, these stupid sites crashing, you know. I'm like, golly, man. I hope they don't crash. Now, the Target one, I'm going to be on Target on the freaking computer, and I'm going to bring it on my freaking phone, too, on the app. And we're going to see which one works better. But I'm nervous, man. You know, gosh, I, I hope I can get one. But, man, the chances are very hard. I will be up all night. Uh, and I will be streaming live, okay, during the Psychopath event. Uh, so we can catch all the angriness and me breaking stuff around this place. Okay, so that that'll be exciting to watch. Pornhub in 4K. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can see all the the pimples and everything on there, huh? Oh, and disclaimer, this channel is really not for kids. So, you know, if you're an adult, cool. And uh, if you are a kid watching, then you need to uh, ask your parents because this is the twisted side of the gaming. Who knows what goes on here? I love my Samsung 4K. Yeah, I have... Um, well, in my house... Do I have any 4K TVs in my house? No, I don't. They're only 1080s. Ain't that some trash? <laughs> but when you go into the game room, okay, I'll tell you how many 4K TVs I have in this sucker. Let's see, I got a 50-inch Samsung 4K on the Golden T2020. In the retro gaming area, I got two 40-inch 4K Samsung TVs. In the bar area over where that beautiful alcohol is, is another 40-inch samsung uh tv and then of course my projector is a espen 120 inch um projector and it's 4k and man seeing 4k on a 120 inch screen whoo man sometimes i don't even want to game i just want to go you know um watch movies on that thing you know what i mean they have 8K, 8K monitors, just need a fast computer. Jesus. Yeah, I bet you do. Mm. Man, 8K monitors. I mean, you know, my screens right now, my dual screens on my computer right now are 1080. Okay, they're IPS or whatever, and they're about five years old. They're HP. Um, they're Pavilion 27 xw that's the model number and they still sell them they're about 200 each and man they are crystal clear right so when i update that thing you know to a, a higher end resolution man it's gonna be nice it, it'll it'll really be something oled is the bomb so that's what i need to get bozo ay 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 Man, see, I don't know if I should get the L the LG or the Samsung monitor. If one of y'all nuts can look it up on Amazon, okay, they're it's Samsung and it's LG, okay, and they're both forty nine inches ultra, uh, ultra combo wide, okay, and um, I just don't know which brand to go with, you know, I don't know. I love Samsung, but, you know, I've never had a monitor with them. They're awesome on TVs, but I don't know how they are with, you know, monitor stuff. I will never buy another Samsung 4K TV. Great pick, but awful ARP rating system. Hmm. I never had a problem with mine, Jake. LG is making a good comeback in gaming TVs. You know, I used to be a Sony guy. Back in the day, and then over time, for some reason, Sony um, Sony fell off the map with the the quality of their TVs, and you know then I switched over to Samsung because they were you know rising and stuff. I played the first two; they were good. More of a Sony guy though. Uh, talking about Halo, 
Joe. Hell, you want to get that new Mortal Kombat Rambo and Terminator. Deputy Van Halen. Yes, I already got the ultimate um, Mortal Kombat um, 11. I just haven't, I haven't played it in a while. I need to upload it and and uh, put the new characters on there. But I'll I'll do a video or a stream of of that um, at a later time because I really want to get back into the Mortal Kombat 11. Great game. Maybe use the app. Yeah, the app might work better on Target. Wreck it, Ralph. I loved Halo since the beginning. Enjoyed Halo 2 online multiplayer the most. Nice. Got the call from GameStop today. My Series X is in and ready for pickup at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Wow. Four dogs, retro game, and toys. <laughs> love the love the YouTube name, man. That's awesome. Now, congratulations on your um your new system you're getting. That's awesome. Robert's the best side of gaming twisted. Yes. What are your thoughts about the new sit-down outrun cab? Have you seen it? Oh, we're going back on arcade one up. I think it's pretty cool. Um I know a lot of people want the stand-up version. They don't want to see it or whatever. I mean it's really it's really cool. Um You know, I wish I wish I I could buy one, you know, um, but the room I have up here would be, you know, for the, the big real arcades that I, I want, uh, you know, I, if, if anybody is interested in a Street Fighter 2 cocktail table arcade one up at Sam's Club right now, they're two ninety nine. Um, so that's a good price on that. I almost jumped on that just because, but then I was like, man, that's a 17 inch screen though on there. You know, that's the only thoughts about that. But yeah, the outrun cab looks pretty dope. It looks pretty sick. Nothing changed with Walmart still scheduled for 6 PM pickup on 12. Nice. Congratulations. Dragon gamer. I would go with LG. Really? Okay. LG. Dude, you remind me of Beetlejuice so much you know what I mean. <laughs> it's great. Samsung is way more better. I have three of them. See, Dragon Gamer and Bozo the Clown, come on now. You see, one, one of y'all says it, saying LG and one says Samsung. Yeah, I gotta get with the program. Now we need everybody that's on the stream to either pick Samsung or LG. We need a vote. You know what I mean? Oh man. Yeah, I've heard I've heard about the the Predator monitor. Yeah, but see, they don't have like a, a, a 39 inch or no a 49 inch. I think theirs is what? A 38 inch, I think. You know, and I want to go a little bigger. Um you know, I'm not really gaming on it. I'm not really gaming on this stupid monitor. It's just for the computer side. You know what I mean? Because the monitor I usually game on is, is the one that's, you know, over on this side hooked up to the systems. So the, my computer is just for editing and, you know, um, looking at naked women and everything. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, you know, but I want a good screen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Sony dropped the ball. That's That's for sure on TVs. Hey, Twisted Gaming, Walmart delivered my Xbox Series X yesterday via FedEx. Nathan Higgins. Really? Wow, you already got your system? Holy moly, macaroni, man. That's awesome. Can't wait to play the Call of Duty. Yes, baby. Um, I already have it loaded. Um, uh, Activision or whatever they announced yesterday that you can preload the, the game. Well, not preload, but, you know, load all the files and stuff so it's ready to go for next friday i'm ready to game on when it's friday i am off um thursday uh on launch day and i'm off friday and then saturday and sunday so we're gonna we're gonna go wild on this channel from wednesday all the way through sunday baby so be sure to come on the channel and check it out could have 
upgrade the screen to a 21 inch. Hmm. My face had the biggest smile when I saw RK1 up in the United Kingdom in the toy shop. <laughs> nice. I got the Series S coming, but I'm still not going to open it. I'm going to try to get something else. So I'm not going to open for a couple weeks. Oh, I hear you, Wreck-It Ralph. You know, the only thing that sucks about the uh, Xbox Series S is the dang hard drive's so small. It's like 300 and something gigabytes. I mean, geez, you know. <sighs> Wish it outrun could rumble steering wheel. That would be awesome. That costs a lot more, though, too. I think the sit-down one-ups are lame. Hey, Joe Wallace, they ain't lame if you're lazy. You know, if you're tired and stuff and you need to, you need to sit your ass down, you know, you can, um, <laughs> oh man, I, I do like them in the arcade, but, uh, who the heck is outside my front yard? Oh, it's the post office, man. See, I have cameras all around my house too, so I can see who's coming into my house or not, you know. Let's see, Samsung, Samsung, LG, LG. Thank you, Rufus Watson. Congratulations, Chris, you've stuck with it and it's paying off. Yeah, now everybody on this channel, don't think this channel is straight up, you know, modern gaming channel, okay? I'm still retro, you know, I'm... I began back in the 80s when I was five years old playing on the NES and Atari 2600. You know, I got more retro crap in here than I do modern gaming. Um, so this channel is retro and modern. Don't get it mixed up. If you go to past videos, you'll see a lot of retro gaming uh, topics and gameplay and, and my collections and stuff. But right now, while we're on modern gaming, um, it's because, you know, the launches so it's a big deal you know it's we don't get this until every seven or eight years you know what i mean when a new system comes out so that's why the channel recently you know it's a lot of it's a lot of playstation uh five stuff you know what i mean but you know after the playstation 5 releases you know there will be videos you know where we'll go back to retro gaming then we'll go come back to modern gaming we're just gonna we're just gonna go back and forth you know what i mean so all the audience and subscribers, you know, have a piece of something uh, on this channel that they like. AOG can do 120 megahertz gaming. Stick with good Zenith. <laughs> Should we refresh our pages constantly or wait for the add, add to cart button to light up when trying to get a PS5? You need a refresh because it won't, uh, shouldn't light up on its own. Monitor pins on if you want 60, 120, 240 gigahertz. Yeah, I've been, I've been looking for the, the hertz stuff. Wreck-It Ralph, the first $4 donation today. Whew. Man, were you here when, I forgot who was on my, um, what was it? My, uh, twist -O ween stream when I was playing Call of Duty, um, a guy donated a hundred dollars um that night that was pretty awesome pretty awesome and he was going to donate another hundred dollars if i uh, got on my golden t 2020 uh machine and beat my last you know high score but i didn't have it set up at the time so darn man that could have been two more ps5 games look up the lg x9 it's the highest rated out right now for gaming all right, I'll, I'll look it up. Oh, I'll look it up. Let's see. LGX9. Thank you, Brendan. Oh, C9. Okay. <laughs> C9, I'll just put that under it. You look at the CX. Hmm, what are you talking about on that? Got to do another F at Friday? Yeah, I need to get back on that. Those were funny. I can't wait for the Twisted Gaming PS5 unboxing video. Ooh, should I do an ASMR unboxing? That'd be funny. Mm. 
19th, PS5, PS5 UK. We are all wondering if you heard from Mick Mullet lately. <laughs> um, I haven't um, heard from him lately, but I think he's gonna um, he's coming back uh, next week, so you might see him on the channel. Do you recommend using the Target app or the website to get a better chance at one? Oh, man, that's a hard one. I would say app, but, you know, the computers might be more, you know, comfortable, but I would say the app might work better, to be honest. I'm going to freaking try both. Uh, I'm going to be on Target on the app on my phone, and then uh, on my computer, I'm going to have Target pulled up, and I'm also going to have Walmart, okay, pulled up because supposedly they're they're launching some too but they're only shipping theirs so target is the only place i think right now that when they go live on launch day you order them you pick at your store pick your store and then you can go pick them up that day okay but i think target's the only one that's doing it but grain of salt right now because it's not next week yet, okay? And next week, you know, there's probably going to be more goofy info coming up, you know? And I don't want to run the channel into the ground saying, look, guys, you know, here's another PlayStation 5 video and have 50 of them in two days, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people doing that on YouTube. Um, there's some people that's doing three or four or five videos a day, and it's like, man, you need to give it a rest, you know? Um, but, yeah. So we'll have to see, man. Wait till Monday and see what's going on. If we're unable to get one at launch, when would you think people will be able to get one? Well, supposedly, um, you know, they're supposed to have them for Black Friday, too. They're, they're um, showing stuff on, you know, ads on Black Friday. And I'm like, really? We ain't even at the launch yet. And you're already, you know... So I guess they're going to have more stock on um, Black Friday, too. I don't know. It's crazy. Almost at 10K subscribers. Yes. Well, now, um, I am going to start doing some cool giveaways once we hit 9K. I wasn't going to do giveaways until December around Christmas time because that's my favorite um, time of the year. But once we hit 9,000 subs... We're going to start doing some giveaways every week, and we're going to do it giveaways all the time, baby, through December. Um, you know, I'm building the stock up right now for giveaways. So, yeah. Um, but as well, I can show you right now. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I'll be giving away, like, like games and stuff. I still got more coming in. It'll be Xbox games. It'll be um, PlayStation 4 games. And it'll be uh, Nintendo Switch games. Okay. Uh, we'll do those for nice giveaways or whatever. So, you know, like, this is one of them. Whoops. This is one of them. Destroy All Humans. Be giving away that. You got another uh, Destroy All Humans. And then, since it's my favorite game on the planet Earth, Okay, Grand Theft Auto 5, baby. Look at that. We got 10 of those suckers. Yeah, whoa. That was, that was scary. We got 10 of them. That's a half price off now. So we got 10 Grand Theft Autos to give away. <clears throat> so right now we got 10 Grand Theft Autos to give away. We got two dis Destroy All Humans. And I have some more coming too. Um, like I said, I'm building up the stock um, for giveaways, so we will be doing giveaways um, starting when we hit the 9,000 subscribers. Where is the best website to get a PS5? <clears throat> um, Target and Walmart. I think those are the best. I can tell you smoke weed, laugh out loud. I haven't smoked weed in three years, okay? I haven't smoked weed in three years, uh, but would like to, you know, because it makes me feel good. 
but no, I haven't smoked it in about three years. I used to date a, well, no, I haven't smoked weed in four years. Yeah. I used to date a chick that smoked blunts all, all the time, every day. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't do that no more. Hmm. I'm just a calm person, you know what I mean? Did you hear the latest of PS5 overheating at Best Buy kiosk? That's just because the kiosks are, um, you know, the, the PlayStation 5 are in the, the stupid, it was a, it's a bad kiosk design, okay? So yeah, the PlayStation 5 is going to overheat, you know, when it's struggling in a box or whatever. But the PlayStation 5, when it gets to your house, it ain't going to overheat at all. But people are acting like, you know, it's going to, but it's not. I go to college in Houston. I'm trying to figure out how long the shipping is going to be if I get it shipped to my college P.O. box before I go back home for the break. I stay in Dallas. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it just depends, you know. If you if you get one on Walmart, you know, um, Target's going to be pickup only, I think. But Walmart, I don't know when they're going to ship them out. If you buy one on launch day, it might be a week or two, hopefully. I don't know. Best Buy is doing the same thing as Target. Yeah, but I didn't think Best Buy had stock on launch day. Because they were saying they weren't having stock. Jake Randall. Oh, that guy on YouTube. Oh, man. Some of the... Some of the people I, I I can't stand on YouTube is is um, that guy. Um, what is that? The the Tech Review USA dude. That guy drives me nuts too. Now, that guy posts like four videos a day. I think. Now there's a couple other ones that drive me nuts. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we won't get into that. Okay. <laughs> What time will they start letting us purchase online at Target? I don't know. I don't know. That's the sad thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be online on November 11th at 11 p.m. at night. And I'm just going to go all night. All night until the stupid thing um, appears. So, I don't know. We don't know a time at Target. We do know times at Walmart. 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. Eastern Time uh, at Walmart. So I don't know what they're doing with that. Four different times for pre-order. I don't really get that. But whatever, you know what I mean? Do you ever hear your breaker box buzzing in your game room when everything is powered on? I bet you pull some serious juice. I do pull serious juice up here. Um, but this when this game room was built from the ground up, because this is a custom building for this game room. I mean, it's only like, I don't even know if it's two years old yet. But anyways, the electrician, um, they made this game room where it's super power. Uh, I can power, okay? I'll just show you. I, I will I'll tell you how powerful this electrical system in this thing is. I can power 45 original arcade machines in this upstairs building if I wanted to with all CRTs, okay? 45 arcade machines. That's what this room can power. Now, we don't have that many in here. You know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven real arcade machines. So, I mean, it's doing nothing to the system. And all the lights and all this other BS... Um, ain't doing anything either right now. But, uh, yeah, it, it's super power. I mean, and believe me, it costs a lot of money to put put that in. Um, woo! But, uh, you know, these arcades are my babies, okay? And it's, this this building is supposed to be, it was special built. It was, it's tornado proof, earthquake proof. And, you know, like if, if we had a lightning strike or something that struck this building or whatever, it ain't going to do nothing to these arcade machines. Nothing. The, 
It's built where nothing will mess with the arcade machines, okay? Okay, let me get... Now, I'm going through all the comments, and there is no lag, okay? I'm just a little behind, so bear with me here. It just got medically legal where I live. Congratulations, smoke up. You can smoke one for me, okay? What about the bots, though? Um, Target... I'm not worried about the bots, okay? Because you have to um you have to pick up. If you buy at Target online, they will not ship it. It's store pickup or curbside pickup only. So say like somewhere in Dallas I wanted to pick that Target, okay? And I order a PlayStation 5, I have to pick it up. They're not going to ship it. Okay? So that kills the bots on that crap. Uh so that's that's good. Now Walmart, I don't know. I don't know about Walmart, who knows. What up, Bricky's Joe Wallace? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah, I got wears me out. To yeah, Boston for the win. I can't stand him. That guy is a turd. You know. I mean, should I just make a, a YouTube video sometime, telling what YouTube channels you don't need to watch? You know, because they're they're fake and the crap. You know, because I've watched a lot of them. And oh my gosh, dude, I got a list for you. Whew, man. Only five days to greatness. You ain't kidding. Unless if you don't get one, then it's going to be badness. You deserve it. You put so much time in your videos. Thank you. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you get your PS5 twist. Mine is secured. Nice. Not until the bad Santa Claus, which is me, comes and steals it under your Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh, man. UK is only pre-orders, all sold out. Hate the scalpers. Shame on them. They would rob from the grandma, yeah. Money, money, money. Rules the world, you know what I mean? Pfft. That sucks, man. Agree, people have told me that just to start at 12 a.m. Eastern, just keep refreshing. That's right. Bozo the Clown, a.k.a. Bozo Calvin Jr. I'm ready. So am I. Last known element, my exact plan, except I'll have two people helping me with Target, Best Buy on app, and computers refresh every minute. Nice, nice. Now, don't think I haven't, you know, been through this refresh BS before, okay? Because the ultimate system that uh, I have that, you know, blows away the PlayStation 5, even though, you know, it's not as powerful is the PlayStation 4 Pro 500 million limited edition. The clear blue with the, you know, the copper uh, number, you know, one of 50,000 or whatever. Oh, baby, I got one of those. Um, I still have it. I have it sealed and everything. I won't take that stupid thing out. But I want to get it graded and locked up to a, a plastic box to protect that baby because that's... That's just my sweetheart, man. Whew. Let's see. I'm surprised they didn't do a um a custom PlayStation 4 though when they hit the what was it? 25 anniversary of PlayStation. I don't well, probably coronavirus, so there's that. <laughs> Has Target announced their launch time yet? Nope. Not that I heard of anyways. <sighs> What's up, Christian? Hey, Money West, wow. Uh, when you think he's in his basement, but nah, he's upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I would not build a game room, okay, in my basement, especially for the money of stuff I have in this game room. I ain't gonna put this crap in no basement, okay? And, you know, this stuff is insured um, big time. Like, if I was to burn this place to complete ground, I would get double what I have in this stuff. Well, no, no, no. I'd get quadruple maybe. I don't know. I have all this crap insured for too much money. So, you know, you know, if I was an idiot, you know, I'm just burning the place down and, you know, go buy a million dollar house or something. You know what I mean? But, um, all this stuff is my babies up here. You know, it is. All right. Moving on. Let's see. Let's see. 
no one allowed to camp out at stores just in case they might have either systems available. We have a statewide curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Ooh. Does the Target app refresh on its own? I don't know. You know, I've, I've never figured. I never tested it out. I don't know if it does or not. Will my PlayStation Plus membership transfer over to the PS5? Yes, it will. I think I answered that earlier, but yes, it will. What console do you think will be on top by next year this time? Uh, PlayStation 5. It PlayStation's more popular than Xbox. I don't care who tells you that or who doesn't. PlayStation 5 is way more popular brand than Xbox. It's it always has been, okay? You know, PlayStation 1 was out before Xbox ever came out, okay? And the brand has just built and yes, you know, one generation, you know, the Xbox, what was it? Xbox 360 or whatever. Yeah, they, um, you know, they won the, you know, the wars, you know, that year. But after that, PlayStation and Sony, you know, they they learned their lesson on that. And they've been on top since. So, and PlayStation 4, you know, outsailed Xbox, you know, two to one. So, I mean, they, they, got, they got the lead, you know. And like I said, Nintendo, nobody doesn't even mess with Nintendo because Nintendo is Nintendo, okay? They've been around since the freaking 1800s, okay? Nobody can touch Nintendo. They're in their own league, so good for them, you know what I mean? Once they get a little money off this YouTube thing, they change up, and that's their only goal. <clears throat> yeah, oh, I know. I know how YouTubers are. Oh yeah, I I'm really smart when I see when I watch people, you know what I mean, on how their YouTube channels go and stuff. I'm not going to drop any other names, but there's a bunch of other freaking idiots on YouTube too, and I know what they're doing. They're just doing it for the money. They don't even know how to game, okay? You pick a game, I'll whoop your butt. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have a YouTube channel. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer, you know, and talking about all this. No you're not. You're no gamer, dude. You know, all you want is the money. Now I'm a freaking gamer, okay? You know, I mean, we got, we got games everywhere in this stupid place. I mean, I, I bought, um, oh, I, I, I just got this game in uh, today. I ordered it uh, today on Amazon. And it was the same day delivered, and I was like, really? So I've been wanting to play this, so I'll be doing a stream soon with this. But yeah, I want to play this, um, I can't pronounce this crap, Ghost of Tashimiya, Tashuma, Tashima. I don't know, but it looks sick. The trailer looks sick, and I've seen some people do um, um, gameplay on this, and it just looks like a bad game, dude. So I'm going to play that soon. Kind of like almost a Samurai Showdown, but open world. Oh, man. Let's see. Do you have your PS5 pre-ordered? No, Jesus, I don't. I don't. I don't. Or Jesus. Yeah. I get mixed up on that name. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, now, if I don't get a PlayStation 5, I have a few of my YouTube subscribers that have extra PlayStation 5s that they they said that they would um, sell me. So, I mean, we'll see how that goes if I don't get one. But <laughs> Trying to be the Grinch. Yep. I'm going to come steal your PlayStation 5. <laughs> Under your Christmas tree, you should research Samsung QD OLED micro gear for 2021. I know the TVs are coming. Not sure about monitors. Okay. Now in stock has been helpful too. Yeah, I know about that app. Six Target employees told me it's 12 a.m. Really? Ooh. Okay, well, let's get it on then. Bozo the Clown, what's your thoughts about this election? Oh, no, you know, I'm not going to... This is not a, a political channel, but I will say it's been nuts. Um, it's It's been crazy. And we should have had a president, you know, three or four days ago. But we haven't. And it's like, really? You know? It's like, come on. <laughs> come on, you know? <laughs> Which he's been elected today, now, yeah, you know, supposedly. And then, you know... People saying we got fraud going on, and who the hell knows, you know? 
I mean, eh, crazy year. I guess the coronavirus took over the election this year, huh? I have 18 in my area. I hope I get one for real. Roosevelt, I hope you do too. Twisted love your channel and your subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we, I think we got, um, let's see, out of the, um, let's see, how many subscribers we got on this channel right now? Almost 9,000. Out of the 9,000 subscribers that subscribe to my channel, I, I think we only got like one third in the bunch. Um, so a 0.1%. Everybody else is beautiful, but I think there's only one third that subscribe to this channel because every time I, I do a video, there's that one dislike every time, every time. And then later there's a few more, but there's somebody on this stupid channel that, that dislikes every single video of mine one time. And it's like, really? You know, I don't care if you dislike the channel or not. Good, do it, you know? But I mean, if you're going to push the dislike button, say why you did it. You know what I mean? Come on, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? <laughs> Some of those gaming collectibles are priceless. Yes, they are. Let's see, everyone is buying the LG CK, but I might wait to see what other HDMI 2.1 TVs come out. PlayStation 3 still outsold the 360 at the end of the generation. Ah, okay. Nice. Gamers Unite. Yeah, Ghost is amazing. Good. My biggest pet peeve on YouTube is the constant e-begging. E-begging. Hmm. What do you mean by e-begging? On that. As you're walking in the door, thumbs up. Live for Twisted Gaming. <laughs> yeah, everybody give me a, a like. Psst. Five days away, yes. Ghost is sweet. I just bought Ghost of Attention last week and can't stop playing it by far. Nice. Game of the year. It's great. Awesome. Enjoy the channel. Awesome gaming room. Appreciate it, John Parker. Too many lunatics in politics. There are. <laughs> uh, Best Buy is the easiest way to get a PS5. Hmm. Well, we'll see. You're doing, you deserve more. Thank you, Cameron. 45 thumbs, and there's 75 in the room. Get those likes. Thumbs up. <laughs> You get to sound like um OB1 OB1 plays um that guy's a funny guy uh no disrespect for him but <clears throat> one of my past videos you know I I kind of did like a uh, impersonation of him or whatever but uh, that guy he I I like him but then he wears me out you know the OB1 plays guy or whatever I like him but he wears me out I don't like and when the video first comes on and he's like, you know, you know, we got 50 likes. We need to get to 100 likes, you know, and it's like, you know, let's get on with the what you're talking about, baby. OK, because I never on none of my videos, I never say, OK, before we start the video, I need you to give the video a thumbs up. I need you subscribed and I need your comment. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's. Like, like right now, let's get let's get ten thousand likes, baby. Come on, we can do it. Push that like button if you care. You know, I don't do that BS. Okay, you watch the whole freaking video, okay, and then at the end, I I remind people, you know, uh, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I always comment back because I do. You know, I don't even know if there's any YouTube YouTuber out there that comments on every freaking thing like I do. Sometimes it wears me out, but, you know, I got to stick with my, you know, motto deal. But, yeah, I leave all that BS at the end, you know. I let the um, the video talk. You know what I mean? If you enjoy the video, you'll subscribe. You know what I mean? And if you like the video, you'll like it. I don't have to tell you, you know. But at the end, I just, you know, put it in because, you know, that's just kind of my deal. But I don't ever do that BS on the, fr on the beginning of the video. And whatever, another thing that wears me out by some YouTubers they do that BS stuff when they start a, a, um, a YouTube video and they'll say, 90% um, of my, um, my viewers are not subscribed, you know? 
There's only 10% that subscribe that's watching my videos, so we need to get those numbers up. That's so stupid, you know? Get out of here. That's what that, um, that Bricky's turd did, and then he got bashed for that. That was pretty funny. Oh, man. Anyways, let's get back to the comments. Sorry, I was kind of ranting. <sighs> Should I pick a target with low or high stock? Oof. I don't know, man. I don't know, to be honest with you. You just need to go with your gut, because I don't even know what the heck I'm doing yet. But I better figure it out in five days, huh? I'm curious when GTA Online gets remade for PS5, will it be true 4K at 60 frames per second? No one that's Rockstar Games? Yes. Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation will run at 4K at 60 frames per second. Easy. You know, because Rockstar Games got more money than anybody uh, coming to a studio. You know what I mean? So they, they can do what they want. Um, so I'm excited for that. Grand Theft Auto V, baby. And the good thing is, if you know, if you have Grand Theft Auto V and you have it on PS4, you, you get it free on PlayStation 5. You know, it's great. With the upgraded graphics and everything. <clears throat> I got this auto refresher off of Google Chrome extension. It lets you set the time to keep refreshing the page. I also have two target accounts set up with different locations. That's a that's a good idea. Nice. I dislike you because you're awesome. Psst. Thanks, Chris P. That's funny. <laughs> Not me. Still simping. They subscribed and I have... Not notice to dislike. <laughs> I always get one view when sharing a pic on Xbox. <laughs> How long have you had the GTA cutouts? Ah, the ones behind me. Um, the the girl. This this one's my baby. You know, if she was real, I'd kiss her. Um, this one. Let me. Whoops. That one right there. Um. I've had her for about two and a half years, I believe. Yeah, I've had her. And I got these dope things, too. The the um, gold Grand Theft Auto numbered. There's only 500 of those made of each one of those. And then I got this big-ass Rockstar Games um, banner up here. I mean, we just, got, we just got so much crap in this game room. But, I mean, I'm a... I'm an ultimate Rockstar Games collector, okay? I want everything Rockstar Games. I, I, I love them. You know, the company's crazy. The company's nuts. The owners are psychopaths. I mean, it's just great, you know? It's nuts. I love it. And they do whatever they want in their game. In their game. They don't do censorship or nothing. I, I remember you said I just left. E-bagging is begging for donations and such on streams and whatever else like Review Tech USA. <laughs> yeah, best YouTuber down to earth and real. Yeah, you know, I've been on the fence on one thing, okay? I'll be honest with y'all. You know, I don't e-bag and I don't, I don't give a crap about, you know, you know money or, or donations or anything. Well, now if somebody donates, you know, thank you. You know, I appreciate it, you know what I mean? But I don't beg for it, right? But there's a there's some of my subscribers that contacted me and they wanted me to do, you know, a, a membership on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I've been on the fence about it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I know Dr. Disrespect does it, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. You know, because like, if you, if you have like a membership, right? Um, or subscription to somebody's YouTube channel like Dr. Disrespect, right? Then you have these custom emojis you can li use in live stream, and then you got these badges and stuff. I mean, it's a really neat deal, and my channel is set up for it, but I did not hit the button on it yet, you know, because I don't know how I feel about it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to have a subscription you know, where you can join my YouTube channel and, you know, pay four ninety nine a month or something, you know what I'm saying? And and think, you know, different of the channel because I'm not about that. Um but the reason why I set it up but I haven't clicked it is because some of my subscribers wanted me to do it because they kinda wanted to um have custom things and they um uh 
they wanted to, you know, kind of give a little bit more to the channel, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence of it. But it is set up if I ever pull the trigger, but I don't know if I'm going to. Dang, lost, dropped the internet there for a minute. I was afraid that was going to happen. <laughs> Boy, we lost a lot of, we lost a lot of viewers, didn't we, when that dropped like that? Jesus. <laughs> Is it back on y'all's end now? Yeah, my internet kind of went out there for a minute. Dang, we lost 40, 40 viewers, man. Golly. But we're back up now, I think. We should be. Hmm. That's crazy. Will I get the Xbox Series X? Yes, I will. I will be getting that. Is there gonna be a new twisted metal for PlayStation? I don't know. That's that's a that's a good question. I have no clue. Um, because they killed that studio years and years ago, and we should have had a twisted metal for the PlayStation Four, but we never got it. So, I don't know. <laughs> Man. Freaking internets keep going out. Might have to go reset the router or something. I don't know. My internet's been goofy lately. So, let me know if y'all, um, if it's back. If it goes out again, I'll still be here. Okay. Um, but, uh, and then I'll just give y'all a warning when I'll end the stream or something if it goes out. But, um, hmm. Anyways, to get back to it, sorry, I, I, man, I got behind. So what I was saying, not sure if you knew, but Trippy Mel Mel, yeah, the, uh, the woman, dude, girl, or whatever, is being sued by Camelot331 because she said a lot of made-up accusations about him in a Jake Randall stream. That's crazy. That um with the PlayStation logo uh on on the on the steering wheel. I think it is. G something. Alright, the internet's still going so far. We'll we'll have to see. <laughs> yes, the stream did crash because my internet went out. I'm starting I'm I'm having some internet issues the last couple of days. I need to go fix that crap. But we're, we're still here, so if it goes out again, you know, just give it, you know, 30, 40 seconds. And, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of, okay. GTA 6 sh should have came out in 2021. Yeah, it should have. I'm thinking GTA 6 will be out in 2022, possibly. Any word on the PS5? Would you mind showing the control and headset again? Oh, man, I got him. I got them boxed up right now, where I would put them back in the box so I wouldn't get dusty. But um, the PlayStation 5 controller is... Oh, what the hell. Hold on a minute. Internet still good? Good. <laughs> uh, community is the equivalent of Twitch subs. You should do it. Oh, go on Twitch. The channel membership helps the channel grow. Well, it just depends. What do y'all think, guys, huh? I mean, I could do the subscription, you know, where you could join. I call it the twisted side subscription um you know i could i could do it for this channel and you know if you you know if you subscribe or join the membership do it cool you know if you don't don't you know what i'm saying i mean the option could be there you know but i'm not gonna beg anybody believe it i don't i don't beg people for money or anything okay so Here's the PlayStation 5 controller. Oops. Ah, oh, let's see. There's the PlayStation 5 controller. 
That's nice. See the pretty blue? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's beautiful, ain't it? That's a beautiful control it, baby. And it, it feels so nice. It does. Oof. It does. I would never, never, never lie to my YouTube followers. But yeah, the, X, the PlayStation 5, it, that controller, it feels nice, believe me. Oops. And here's the, um, the um, Pulse 3D or whatever. The super hot item of Christmas 2020, believe me. But yeah, this is this is them right now. That's that's nice, huh? That's nice. Well, I can't put it on my other ones, but they fit really good. I mean, they fit snug and and they don't hurt. They feel great. They fit over the ears really nice. I mean, they're just they're just nice. I can't wait to hear them. But I gotta get a PS5 first. Ah, see. They can, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. The community is the equivalent of Twitch subs. The stream's still doing good. Did the stream crash? No, it didn't. Lagged out. It's good now. Yeah, like I said, if it goes out again, you know, just give it 30 seconds. Just stay on there for 30 seconds, um, and it'll come back. Um, you know, it... I don't know. There's there's something going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. Are you going to stream for launch day? Yes, I am. Oh, man. Let's see. I'm going to have to skip some of these. Y'all have to do some re-comments if you want something because... When the stream went down, it got way out ahead. Do you have any Red Dead Redemption posters? Yes, I do. I don't have them hung up. They're in boxes, but yes, I do. I don't give a F if Xbox has the most powerful system. It doesn't beat the Sony games. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. And don't mention... <laughs> I can't even pronounce that goofy name. Bethesda? You know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. This stream has me triggered. Oh, Prince. Ooh, don't be triggered now. I'm just here for the games, bro. <laughs> Target for me. You back now. Seems to be working now. Good, good, good. All right. You will get yours from Target PS5. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Who's going to plastic dip their PS5 plates? I knew that crap was coming. People are going to do it, too. They're gonna they're gonna customize that crap and it's gonna it's gonna crazy. Just give it a give it a couple weeks. Must be people shopping online now. PlayStation Six, twenty twenty nine. I'm camped ready. Yeah, the coronavirus will be gone by twenty twenty nine. Hopefully, that gives us nine years so we can go camping. Yes, for the PlayStation Six. My favorite Rockstar game other than GTA is Bully. How have they not made Bully Two yet? I don't know. Rockstar needs to get on with some of their remakes, you know. Five days away till I pick up my PS5 pre-order from GameStop. The hype is real. Hope you get one. Thank, thanks, Swifty Dre. I hope I do too. Uh, PS5 launch day. You're getting yours, Twisted Gaming. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I. I don't have a. I didn't. I missed the pre-order, so um, as of right now, I'm not getting a PlayStation Five until I get lucky on launch day. Hopefully, <laughs> more news about PS Five launch. Are you still planning on getting one in launch? Yes, I am. Stream is good. Got to go. Bye. See you later, cool gamer. I'll be there for the stream. Sweet. I'll be up all night. You were getting your PS Five on launch day. I hope so. Should I stay up all night for Target? Yes, you should. Sony had some killer titles this gen. So many good times. Oh, yeah. They had some great titles. So it's best to go to the PS5 disc version, right? Forget about the digital. Yes. I wouldn't... Forget about the digital version because I don't even know if there's going to be any digitals 
on launch day. Uh, I think Sony wants to sell more disc ones anyways. Um, so, I mean, I think I think the digital PlayStation 5 is the rare PlayStation 5 at this time anyways. What time do you think it'll go live on the website? Some people are saying 12 a.m. at Target. We'll see, though. They aren't any digitals in stock on my store app. Yeah, there's no digitals anywhere. So many systems are coming into the future. Yes, they are. Y'all hear about the new console that's coming out in 2030? It's called the Twisted Gaming Console. And it's a 30K resolution, I think. It'll cost you $10,000 in your liver. Uh, Bill Gates said this coronavirus nonsense will last like 10 years. Gosh, I hope not. What kind of wheel do you have? It's a Logitech um, G, G9, I think? G something. Boy, y'all gonna have to make me go get the box, huh? Because it don't say it on this freaking thing. It just says Logitech on it. But it's the, um, it's the, uh, it's, it's on Amazon. You can just look it up. But yeah, it's this one right here. It's beautiful. And it works, it works really good too. It actually, you can actually use it on PC too. Physical media, all that I want. Yep, so, so. Well, the good thing about the disc version of the PlayStation 5 is you got two options. You know what I mean? You got two options. You can put a disc in it or you can download it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know why I'd want a, dig, a digital one when I could do more with a physical one. You can do digital or physical. You know, but the digital, you can just do digital. But the physical, you can do both. You know what I mean? So I I rather have the I rather have the disc drive and you know what's the what's the price difference on it a hundred dollars you know who cares <laughs> who cares does anyone know when Target's order go live people are saying twelve a.m. but we'll see stay up all night they won't tell us when it'll drop in the website so you can so they can prevent a crash you know. That's a good idea. Do you have a 4K monitor? Yes. I have a 4K gaming monitor um, that I just got. But I do need to update my um, dual computer screens. And I'm looking to figure out which one. I'm going to blow my money on that crap. I have the headset. Comfortable as... Mic audio is decent, but game audio is great. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, I got it just to get get it, you know, just to see what the hell the the 3D audio crap sounds like. But, you know, I'll probably use it and maybe give it away on uh, as a giveaway on the YouTube channel because I like these um, Sony Studio headsets that I use for gaming. So they they work out really nice, and I haven't had a headset to beat these yet. What's up, man? Getting closer to 10K. That's great news. You deserve it. Tony Hawk video coming out still. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that, man. I need to do the Tony Hawk video so you can see how crappy I, I play on that game. I've already tested it out, and I'm a crap show. <laughs> can't get used games or cheaper games. No, you, yeah, you can't do that. If you get a digital version, you're going to always play... Sixty dollars for a game, unless you know they discount it on there. But I don't know. I like the I like to feel it. You know, it's like okay. You know, this is gonna get kind of twisted, okay? So hopefully there ain't no you know uh, teenagers on here or, or kids, right? But if you are gonna go out on a date, okay, with a woman, okay, a female. Okay, do you want her uh, as a physical person or do you want her digital? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to touch a woman or do you want to touch your computer screen? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Physical version all the way. 
okay? Because you, you ain't going to kiss no computer screen, okay? So, physical. <laughs> Let's see. I hope I can get it too, bro, from Target. Yes, I hope you can too. Plus, if you red box or whatever, you can still watch movies if you want on PS5. Exactly. Exactly. Ho, 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 ha, 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 he, he, ha, hello, my old chum. <laughs> I'm gone, goof, goblin. You lost me there, Johnny Milton. I couldn't read that crap. Wonder what gaming will be like in 20 plus years. Jeez, I don't really want to know, to be honest with you. Hopefully, retail stores will have all their information gathered, such how much launch stock they will, because Monday, I'm going to speak to all stores close to me and make the official plan. Yes, that's a good good idea. Re remake GTA Vice City oof, in 4K graphics. Wouldn't that be sick? That'd be crazy. Love the juggernaut fridge. I can't wait for Black Ops Cold War. Zombies, yes. Yes, the Juggernaugs from, um, um, I want to say that was Black Ops 3, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Black Ops 3, Collector's Edition. Super rare now, though. Uh, did you pre-order both Xbox and PS5? No, I have not. Digital women are coming soon. <laughs> oh, man, don't get me on that subject. <laughs> oh yeah 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 you'll get your first taste of a digital woman in um cyberpunk 2077 because there's supposed to be lots of you know nudity and sexual stuff all over that game i mean who knows what that's that game's gonna be um <laughs> it's gonna be crazy are they restocking headsets on launch day have no idea maybe Sucks Cold War didn't have a special edition. You mean like collector's edition? Yeah, because of the coronavirus. They probably couldn't make a collector's edition with statue or whatever they were going to do. And that sucks. That would have been awesome. Do you think they will make a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake? I don't know, but I've heard somebody say that there was um, there was another Metal Gear Solid coming out or is being made, I think. How long will you stay up until it goes live all night long? What launch games you getting? That's asked before. Um, Cyberpunk 2077, which that's been delayed, so we're going to have to wait on that. Destruction, All-Stars. Um, well, like I'm, I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get them all. Except um, the, what game is that? What's that game? Something sack and boy sack or whatever. I'm not into that kind of games. So I'll I'll throw that one in the trash. But all the other ones I'll, I plan on getting. <laughs> yeah, Black Ops 3. Yeah, that was the, the juggernaut fridge. Pretty awesome. I think the PS5 headset is worth it. Um, I mean, maybe. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. Because I don't have the PlayStation 5. I still have my unopened Juggernaut mini fridge. Sounds good. I'll send you the money and you can send it to me so I can have two. <sighs> Don't that sound neat? Games are 70 bucks. Yes, that was a long time coming. They were going to they were going to go up to $10 more for it's been in the making for a long time. I mean it finally happened. Do you know if GTA Vice City is backward compatible with Xbox Series X? Mm. Uh, I would think so. You know, if 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 the game was made, um, for Xbox, yeah, it should be. I think Xbox Series X plays every every game, um, on the past generation. I believe. I would have been okay with a Speed Cola mini fridge or any other perk mini fridge. <laughs> They canceled my media media remote on me. Already have a headset controller charging station on the way. Picking the main attraction up to 250 launch day, midnight release. Nice. Well, the remote, the media remote, you can find everywhere. I've seen those all over the place right now, so they're available right now. 
There's that one dislike, Chris. Oh, really? Did we already get a dislike on the channel? What a foo-foo, huh? That's a foo-foo. I guess that's the hater on the channel, huh? I'm hyped for the PS5, but I'm a little disappointed with the launch titles other than Cyberpunk, but I know the games will come. Yeah, give it time. Chris, you own your own game store. What state you in? No, I don't own a game store. Now, my game room looks like a game store. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't own one. I was going to open up a game store. Me and the wife was, but um, the coronavirus happened and killed that. We were going to open an arcade, too, and that, the coronavirus just killed everything. I tested it with my friends, a new headset, and it's night and day in terms of my quality. The sound is also better. Destiny 2, nice. Got to go now. Peace out. See you later. When do you think GTA 6 will come out? Uh, I think Grand Theft Auto 6 will come out in uh, probably 2022. In two years, I think it comes out. I think it will. Also, any news on adding external hard drive on PS5? <laughs> now, as as what I've heard, like external hard drive that you can plug into like, you know, the USB or whatever port on the PlayStation 5, I think you can use those right away. Now, the ones you can't use right away is the uh, expansion SSD drive the solid state expansion um drives that you can you know add in there those ain't gonna work right away for some reason because of sony i don't know i guess they're gonna do a patch when they're ready and then it'll work but i think you can use an external hard drive though if you plug in it kind of like you know what i have on the ps4 i think you can use that on day one best buy has a countdown to launch day on their website when you type in ps5 really Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I didn't know what it was, though, but I guess you can order online, but I don't know if you can pick it up, though. You know what I mean? I'm psyched about having a mic on the controller because I hate headsets. You think chatting on it can be a problem when you mash in those plastic buttons right next to it? I don't know. I've never I've never used that before. Now, I know, now, now I know you can... They come with a, um, you know, little... Um, little earbuds that you plug in and you know it plugs into the playstation 5 controller kind of like the ps4 does you can use those and those sound pretty good i guess what's your favorite gta vice city favorite grand theft auto is vice city san andreas and then grand theft auto 5 why are you called twisted gaming um well let's see Back in 07, when I started my film company, it was called Twisted Ink Films. And, you know, uh, I'm kind of a, a crazy, wild person, you know what I mean? Um, so then I got the nickname Twisted Chris. Because um, peop- my friends would never know what I would do next or whatever, you know what I mean? Something like that. And um, I used to lot- do a lot of crazy, wild things. And... Uh, so I got the name Twisted Chris, and then when I started the Twisted, I, the gaming channel, I just named it Twisted Gaming to go on with the Twisted name. That's what I'm known by, Twisted Chris. I remember one year, it was years ago, I, I even forgot my freaking name. You know, because everybody calls me Twisted Chris. Nobody calls me, you know, my real name or or whatever, you know. Um, so, yeah, at one point, I forgot my own freaking name. That's crazy. You play GTA 5, how often do you live stream on it? I've, I've live streamed on it a couple of times. Um, I play Grand Theft Auto 5 often. You know, I would love to do, play more Grand Theft Auto 5 on my YouTube channel. But, you know, I don't know if, the, if subscribers would, you know, want to see a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, you know what I mean? I don't know. Almost close to 80. Oh, almost close to 80 likes. <laughs> what, we're up to 75? People, I need five more likes. I need five more likes. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. I don't even know what freaking likes do anyways. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know what it does. I guess it's a bragging point, huh? You know?
<laughs> Hearing the, that the PS5 games can't be stored on external HD. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't read anything about that. Do you still think the best way to get a PS5 is Target? Yeah, I think the best way to get a PS5 is Target and Walmart. I don't know. I'm kind of on the edge of Best Buy. I don't know. If you get a PlayStation 5 from Target, you can pick it up the same day, right? Yes. If you, when they go on launch day, whenever in the middle of the night, uh, when the button goes up, you select your store that's local to you or whatever Target store you want to do. And it, and it pops up and it says you can buy it. You buy it and you can schedule a time or whatever that day to go pick it up. Yes. And you should be able to get it that day. Now, Walmart, if you go on your, what, their website and order it on launch day, um, they're going to ship it to you. I don't think you can pick that up. They've said that many times. Twisted Disco King. <laughs> Do you play Red Dead Online? Thoughts on compared to GTA Online? I like both of them. Uh, I haven't played Red Dead for a while, but I I do like it. But I'm I'm more Grand Theft Auto, um, so you know. Love the video of the Pac-Man smash up. Yeah, that was funny. I'm a mirage. Am I a mirage? Thanks for the tip video. Bringing cash in case my car declines. Yeah, great idea. I heard PS4 games can be stored on external drives, but not the PS5 games. They must be on SSD. Eh, possibly because, you know, those games are going to be made to process super fast and stuff. So, I mean, that might be a reason. On resales day for Target, should I go on the website or the app? Um, I'm kind of mixed feelings on that. I would go with the app, but I would be on the freaking website, too. Um... Now, if you're doing it on your phone, yeah, use the app. But what I'm saying is I'm going to be on my phone on the app, and then I'm going to be on my computer um, on the website. So I don't know. It's a hit or a virus. Killed those dreams uh, for now. Do you suggest buying extra storage now or later? Um, I would do it later so we know what's actually going to work for the PlayStation 5. Um. Yeah, because I, I don't know. I don't know if Sony gave the list up or not. But uh, I, I would wait. 82 likes, nice, and still counting. Boy, you're on that. You're on those likes, huh, bozo? <laughs> I asked you a question. Look up top. M-A. M-A Mirage? What are you talking about? I must have missed it. Hmm. I don't see what you asked. Dan, ask again. <clears throat> Let's get some donations going. <laughs> There's a few t of my YouTubers that um, did a lot of did a lot of donations before. Bozo the Clown, aka Calvin Jr., he was one of them. And a couple others too. A couple of um, people that used to um, watch my live streams. I haven't seen them in a while, so I don't know. I don't know where they are. Uh, what's the cheapest TV or monitor to get? I mean, look on Amazon. <laughs> there's some there's some cheap monitors and um you know Best Buy and Target you know they're having their Black Friday stuff on monitors and stuff so it'd be pretty cheap to get one right now do you have a favorite Mortal Kombat game yes Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 I have the original arcade machine about 30 feet from me Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 best Mortal Kombat game of all time, okay? And then I would put um, Mortal Kombat 2 after Mortal Kombat 3. Both of them are great, though. Mortal Kombat 1, eh, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really dig it like I did Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Let's see. 
Do you think Donald Trump prefers PS5 or Xbox Series X? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> How hard do you think it's going to be to get a PlayStation 5? I guess we'll see next week. Hopefully a lot of us get them. Picking on me, maybe they hide in the bushes. Yeah, you don't want a cheap TV or monitor. You know, I, I wouldn't get no t cheap TV or monitor. Exactly. Got my pre-order in. Good luck to everyone else. Thank you, Jumpman23. Congratulations on your pre-order. Concur on Ultimate Mortal. Yeah. What's your favorite system ever? Mm. I will say my favorite system of all time was because I've had so many good memories with it was I'd have to give it to Nintendo 64 Nintendo 64 the era of killer instinct you know I just wish they didn't change the name to uh, Nintendo 64 stupid they should have they should have kept it the original name Ultra 64 because <coughs> if I if I turn on my um, my original Killer Instinct 1 arcade machine it you know it has that intro and it says you know coming to your home in 1980 uh, 1995 only on Nintendo Ultra 64 beautiful love that intro and then they changed to Nintendo 64 um, but after the Nintendo 64, I would say, I'd say PlayStation 2 was, um, was my favorite. Mortal Kombat was the best ever made, spent money, yep. My girl says she's going to get me a PS5 and an AR-15 for Christmas. I told her good luck getting either. <laughs> That's funny. He might be getting his Toys R Us kids from White House's own final gift. <laughs> I'm from Canada and I was on the website, EB Games, GameStop Canada, announced second wave of pre-orders. As soon as I got an out-of-stock message, I drove there and waited an hour and a half. Mm. Eventually got the pre-order secured, though. Nice. Yes, 007, GoldenEye, best game of all time. Oh, yeah. 007, ooh, that was a good game. Mine is the PS1. Suppose it was so fun. <laughs> you keep telling me to look because you sent me a, a question, Dan. I'm not going to keep going up to the top. If I missed it, I missed it, but... Uh, you can uh, write it again, okay? I'm not going to go up 100 messages to see what you said. Just write it again or something. I love when they made War of Gods and went to the 64 from the arcades. War of Gods. Hmm. I don't remember that game. There's a GameCube remake of it. It was really good, expensive to find out the wild nowadays, though GameCube is through the roof on prices right now. Yeah, especially on games. What games did you pre-order, brother? <laughs> I pre-ordered um, Cyberpunk. Uh, the Destruction All-Stars. And uh, a few others. I can't remember what they are, though. Mine went blank on the PlayStation 5 games. What about Best Buy? I don't know how Best Buy is going to do their stuff. Maybe we'll know something next week. <laughs> yeah, I think Dan's a troll. Yeah, I ain't going to fall for that crap.
No, not War of Gods. The fighting game. No, uh, it's um, it's War Gods. Not War of Gods. <laughs> Yeah, it it was a it was a crappy game. It was, it was a goofy game, but um it was something different. It was like Mortal Kombat. If I play Rainbow Six or any other game, do you think the pulse would be good for it? Uh maybe. Um hopefully it'll work for everything. You gonna rock that whole PS five outfit twisted? I seen that. I seen the PlayStation five out outfit that Sony did and stuff. I mean, it's cool gear, right? But they're trying to sell all the these PlayStation 5 outfits and crap. Hell, we don't even got a dang system yet. <laughs> Best PS4 game you've played. Um, we won't we won't say Grand Theft Auto 5 because you know that's a given. But one of the best PlayStation 4 games that I love. Is Wreckfest. Wreckfest. Basically, the new age of Destruction Derby. Um, love this game. This game is nuts, and I love it. That's one of one of my favorite PS4 games, next to Grand Theft Auto V and a couple of others, um, and Mortal Kombat 11. But Wreckfest is pretty awesome. Do you have any platinum trophies? I don't know. I really don't. I really don't uh, keep up with the trophy system on PlayStation. I just game. I don't know. Are you gonna do a PS5 unboxing when you get it? Yes, I am. We need a new Twisted Metal game. Yes, we do. That was we talked about that earlier in the stream. We need a new, new Twisted Metal for sure. I only s subscribe because I like your beard. <laughs> That's funny. Drop the PSN. Oh, okay. You're telling me where I where I look to see him or whatever. I have to look and see. Well, at least I'm comment. I'm uh, uh, caught up on all the comments. It's great. Yeah, so, you know, launch day is next week for the Xbox and the PlayStation 5. Hopefully we can all get one of them or both of them or whatever we want to do. And then we can uh, have a good time. So, I will be streaming um, on um, next Friday. Well, this upcoming Friday when... Call of Duty Cold War drops. I'll be doing a stream on that because I'm ready to play that. Um, Thursday, if I end up getting a PS5, we'll do an unboxing on Thursday. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Are you interested at all in the Series X? I'm going to wait because there's literally nothing to play on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on the Series X right now. Um... You know, there's there's no Forza Horizon new game yet. And that's one of my favorite racing games on the Xbox. There's no Killer Instinct, no new Killer Instinct on there. So, I mean, you know, they don't really have anything that um, makes me want to do an Xbox Series X right now. I think Marilyn got an early PS5. Nice. You took the time out to read all these comments. Not like some people on here be skipping over people's comments. Yeah. Well, a lot of a lot of streamers or whatever, you know, you know, they'll only, you know, respond to the people that do a donation, you know what I mean? Um now, now I understand if you're like Dr. Disrespect, and you got 50,000, you know, um, comments going down in two minutes, you know. Yeah, you can only respond to the people that actually donated and thank them for it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but
but my streams are a little bit more content so it's not going crap everywhere did you see burger king is giving out a ps5 yeah i've seen that i just don't like eating at burger king though i'm water burger mcdonald's and uh, Jack in the Box. I, I never like Burger King. I truly thank you, and you always comment back. Thank you, Pozo. Will your wheel work with PS5? I think it will. I bet it will. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. We'll see, though. I can test it. I meant your PlayStation Network ID. Twisted Gaming Parties. Oh, my, uh, I don't know, you know, it used to be Twisted Chris 22, but for some reason I haven't seen the numbers on my, um, on my deal. It just says Twisted Chris on there. So my user ID is either Twisted Chris or Twisted Chris 22. Um, I don't know. I'd have to check into that because it, it's been weird. I'll get a PS5, bro. We both trying to get one at Target. <laughs> Do you think Target is going to sell digital versions on launch day? No, I don't. No digitals. Only disc. Will you be getting God's Fall and what do you think of it? Yes, I will get in that and I'm very excited because it looks like a wild game and I want to play it. Gears 5 is 99 at Target this week. Yes, it is. I, uh, I did a Black Friday uh, video that dropped um, earlier this morning, so you have to check out that on on my channel of some of the games. Hell, they even had Mortal Kombat 11 for fourteen ninety nine, which is not bad at all. The medium band in Australia is kind of BS. From what I've heard, likes can really help your push on your own for YouTube. Apparently, dislikes and comment. Comments can as well. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if it's the same as um, if you live stream. You know what I mean. I would think likes work better um, on your um, um, on your regular videos. I don't know how it works on live. But see, I don't know how. I don't know if if subscriptions. You know, if you activate the subscription. Um, on your YouTube where people, you know, can join, you know, kind of like Dr. Disrespect's Champions Club, you know, I don't know if that does anything. Maybe it just helps the, helps the, um, YouTuber, you know, because, you know, uh, there are memberships, but I don't know if, um, I don't know if it helps in any other way though. I don't know. I'm still on the fence of that. <clears throat> Not many people look like they're think it was it's a good idea if i did it so i don't know of course the channel wouldn't change if i did it there's be just options there and then you get these crazy little emojis i created to put in the comments and crap but i don't know i don't know yeah 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 oh the join membership yes yeah like I, that's that's what i'm on the fence of you know i've already had i already have it set up i just haven't activated it um so I've been on a fence. There's there's some there's some subscribers that requested it because they want me to do it, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can always put it up there, and if you want to join it, you can join it. If you don't, screw it. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter to me. <laughs> Thanks for answering all of our dumb questions. You got it, dude. Twisted Chris, you should do a video that's the opposite of ASMR. That's just loud, crazy sounds that you hurt your ears just to be silly. Twisted ASMR. That's funny. That's a great idea. I might do that. That's funny. <laughs> you must be living in Texas, naming local fast food joints. Yeah, I'm in Dallas, Texas. I just discovered Whataburger a month ago. Every fast food is boo-boo compared to them. Oh, yeah, I love Whataburger. Mm. What about Big K K K Kahuna Burger? Never heard of that. Target has 75, another has 42, another 20. Which one would you start at first? 
Hmm. I don't know. I would start at 75, the ones with the most. You know, but everybody else might be at that, so maybe go with the 20. Should I call my local Target to see if they have any PS5 consoles in stock? Yeah, you can, um, but I, I posted up a video of a website that would check stock that they have um, for the launch, but you can call if you want. You got over a 1,000 views for your last live. Nice. What video did you hit a million views on? Um, well, none of my videos has a million views. What I'm saying is when we hit a million views, it's all my videos combined into a million views. Which, if you think about it, you know, it might be boo-boo, but, I mean, it's still a million views, so hey, you know. Can I purchase it on Game Pass? Comes out next year as a medium band in Australia. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know about Xbox. Cowboy fan? Yeah, I haven't watched football lately because, I mean, our team is just, you know, gone kaboo But I, um, I really like Tony Romo, though. He was a, he was a good player. If the other players on the team would actually do a crap, you know. Then he got hurt, and then he retired, and then the team's gone down since. Can I buy a PS5 on launch day at Best Buy? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I know you can't buy it at the store. They're only doing online sales. Now, if you do online, if they do online sales, can you pick it up that day at your Best Buy? Maybe if they have it on stock. It's not confirmed though. But um, Target has confirmed if you order it on their website and you select your store, you can go pick it up that day. But I don't know about Best Buy. I'm sitting here playing 2K and thought this was a long-ass video. I didn't know it was a live stream. That's funny. That's pretty funny. That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Amazon says it comes on Thursday. Sup, Kevin? What's up? Timothy, I meant online, my bad. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, if you order it online at Best Buy, maybe you'll be able to pick it up that day at Best Buy. I don't know how they're doing it. Or they might just ship it like Walmart says there they are. But I've heard some mixed stuff about Walmart now, too, that you can um, order it from uh, Walmart online, and then you can go pick it up in the store. Uh, I wouldn't trust that. Okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that, so I don't, I don't know how real that is. <laughs> no Best Buy. I have an Xbox at Best Buy. Called to offer me early pickup, 6 a.m. Nice. I asked about PS5, and dude says they won't have any. Yeah, that's my thoughts. I don't think Best Buy is going to have any. Now, you might can buy it on their website, and they ship it to you. I think that's what they're going to do, um, kind of like Walmart. But Target's the only one I think you can buy online at your store and go pick it up that day if your store has its stock, which we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we'll get more information next week. Uh, thoughts on the Uncharted games? Um, very good game. Um, very good series. Um. Yeah. Good games. <clears throat> now, are they are they bringing a new Uncharted game out though for the PlayStation Five yet? Have they announced it? I haven't really paid attention to. I don't know if they're bringing out a new one or not. Grand Theft Auto Three. Twentieth anniversary, twenty twenty one, twenty two. That'd be dope. Are you a God of War fan? Uh, yes, I am. Last of Us or Uncharted? <laughs> Dang, that's tough. Mm. I don't know. You know, out of Last of Us and Uncharted, you know what I like better? Far Cry. 
That's that's what you name. That's the name of it. Far Cry, right? I think so. I like that one. Heavy Rain Two. They are making Uncharted movie. Really? Wow. Half Life Three. PS Five trophies just went online. Nice. It's not tough. Uncharted all the way. Which Far Cry should I try first? You like The Last of Us Part 2? Yes, I did. Which Far Cry should I try first? Gosh, which which one is which one is my favorite? I, I Gosh, I can't think which Far Cry that I like the best. Oh, man. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I I like them. Um, I don't know which one to try. They're all pretty dope. I just go, um, just look at the cover artwork, okay, and look at the back, and and maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos on some of the gameplay and see if you you know you like. Um, I can't remember which one I like though. I, I forgot which version it is. Ugh. What state do you live in? Texas. I'm staying up that whole night. Might get lucky. Oh yeah. Yeah, Far Cry 3 and 4. Yeah, I still can't remember which one it was. It might be one of those though. I can't, I can't remember. Do you think a 32 inch curved monitors are too big for a PS5 gaming? It's such a hard time between 28 and 32. No, I don't think it's too it's too big. It just depends. Um, it just depends how far you're sitting away from it. You know what I mean? Like mine's a 28 inch right now, and I'm about. Let's see, four feet away from it, three and a half feet maybe. And that does great. Days Gone is exclaim if you like The Last of Us. Yeah, it was a good game. <laughs> hey, Twisted, you get to 10,000 easily. Content is always dope. Your man cave is awesome. Appreciate it, Anthony. Days Gone is one of the best zombie games I've played. It's a good game. Twisted Chris, have you ever played the Hitman games? If so, what do you think? I do like the Hitman games. Those are pretty fun games. Uh, I, I do got the collector's edition to one of the Hitman games. I just don't know which which Hitman game it was, though. Um, they had a collector's edition where he's sitting in a chair. It's a statue, and he's holding a gun or whatever. Um, I forgot which one that was, though. I can't keep up with all these freaking games, man. There's too many of them. I probably will have to drink hot tea or coffee on November 11th until it hits. It's midnight. <laughs> Are you Assassin's Creed fan? Uh, I'm going to soon be. Um, I have some Assassin's Creed games. Have I ever played them? No. <laughs> They're sitting over there on the shelf. Um, but yes, I, I, need a, I need to play them. I do. Texas is huge. Nice weather state. You should move to San Antonio. I have a lot of friends that uh, live in San Antonio. I have a lot of friends that live in San Antonio. What time do you think Target PS5 will go live? Not really sure, but people are saying around midnight. So we will see. That's what this, the talk is. T midnight, 12 a.m. The smaller the better, but it depends on your setup and preference. Yes. You're back, Bozo. Thank you. <laughs> Man Cave Tour video. Um, I, um, I've done some before. <clears throat> um, let me see. I'll, I can see if I can do a link up real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've I've done I've done um 
contours of my, um, well, I don't call it a man cave. I call it a game cave, baby. Okay. Let me see. You can probably hear sound for a minute. Whoops. Uh, share. Copy. Whoops. So here's a link to one of my um, videos I did. I've done a couple of um, I've done a couple of tours of the game room. The link I just shared though that was a that was like a short one, um, but I plan on doing another one pretty soon because you know I've I've have some updates in here. <laughs> yes. You got your water beside you now. You're seven away from a hundred. Sweet. Oh, a hundred likes. Nice. Anthony Hall. Wow. Thank you for the four ninety nine donation. Keep up the fire content twisted. You're awesome and chill. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the four ninety nine donation. I appreciate it a lot. Bozo the clown. Yes, I do got water this time, okay, so I don't choke on myself like the I like the last stream. That was crazy. I couldn't even talk anymore. Well, when I'm reading all these freaking comments, you know, it's like, you know, it's crazy. You see the Walmart PS5 for sale at 12369. Yes, I have that. I've seen that. Love your channel. Appreciate it. M and Tour. Sorry. Having such a large game collection, do you ever buy games more than once by accident? <laughs> yes, I do. I actually do. Mm -hmm. Yep. I really appreciate your tips on getting PS5. Hopefully there's 78 in store near me. Well, Connor, I hope there is two, and I hope you get it. I hope you get one, like everybody else. I hope we all get one. But yeah, I'm using my Target app. It would be fast. Yeah, that might work good. 1440p at 120 hertz for primary frames per second games or 4k at 60 hertz uh it just depends on what system you're talking about if you're talking about a playstation 5 right now you know they're not supporting the 1440p right now uh on the playstation 5 so i would go with the 4k at 60 hertz if you were going between those two choices right now um yeah because Sony's not supporting that resolution at this time. You reckon Cyberpunk 2077 will be out December 10th or delayed fifth time? No, it'll it'll be out December 10th. I believe it'll be out December 10th this time. They're not going to delay it again. They're not going to miss the Christmas uh, season. They ain't going to do that. About how much have you spent on your game room? Um, probably about, well, are you talking about the stuff inside it or are you talking about the, the actual building? Because there's two different things on that. Have you played the Batman Arkham? Games, yes, I have. Good games. Thoughts on the new OutRun cabinet announced by Arcade 1UP? I think it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people, like I said before in the stream, because somebody else asked about it, um, a lot of people want the stand-up version of the Arcade 1UP OutRun. Um, I mean, I think the sit-down is cool and stuff, you know, because I'm freaking lazy sometimes. So I want to sit down. Um... You know, I just wish I could buy a couple of arcade one-ups, but, you know, the room I have in my game room, you know, I want to save it for, uh, you know, real arcade machines that I want. Um, but, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I really do. And they got um, Street Fighter II uh, cocktail version for only two ninety nine right now at Sam's Club. So that's a nice... Um, Nice price drop right now. Yeah, Bozo, everybody likes my content. I know. 
You make it very clear. <laughs> Don't skip over my comment. What the F? That's not poop in my diaper. <sighs> Crazy, man. Crazy. What games are you getting for the PS5 on launch day? <laughs> this question's been asked a lot. Um, and my mind always goes blank. I'm getting the Destruction. All-Stars. I want that. I think that's been delayed. I already got the Call of Duty Cold War digital version on my ps4 so it just transfers to playstation 5 um and i'm basically buying all the games um that come out for the playstation 5 at launch except one of them and i don't know which one it is it's that sack boy game or whatever they call it because i'm not interested in that what do you think the best method to get playstation 5 on launch day keep on target's website and like um walmart's website and keep refreshing start at you know 11 p.m or 12 a.m should i stand my ps5 up or sideways i would um i would just like they showed in the teaser i would put the playstation 5 you know straight up standing up because it looks cooler that way you know sitting down looks kind of goofy but standing it up that's what i'm gonna do i think it's pretty dope <laughs> should make a google doc spreadsheet that way you won't buy doubles <laughs> yeah that's a good idea just the inside stuff your game room <clears throat> i don't really know how much i've spent on the stuff in my game room because i've lost count but it's um I would say the worth of the contents in the game room. Oh gosh, maybe maybe one hundred fifty thousand, maybe maybe one hundred fifty for the contents in the game room, um, maybe. Um, let me let me. Let me give you some schooling on a couple of things. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Wish my my camera had a, a longer wire, but. Let me wait till they all come on. Okay. Okay, so one of the most expensive things, stuff in my game room, is my displays. And they're Nintendo stuff, you know. Like this right here. Whoops. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so um, that Nintendo. Let me see if I can try to figure this out. That That Nintendo. Whoops. This one right here, um, that sign is called a super bright, okay? And uh, how much that thing's worth right now is probably uh, $2,500 for that one, okay? And then you got the, the world of Nintendo, okay, um, the fiber optic uh, sign because, you know, it dances and stuff. That one goes, that one's probably worth about, uh, let's see, well, I paid about three grand for it, but it's probably worth about, I could probably sell it for about 4,500 since stuff's gone up. And then you got, I don't know if you can barely see it, but this one right here, oops, can't move my finger in the right way. This one right here, right here is a Super Nintendo fiber optic it's at an angle so you can't really see it dancing or whatever that one's worth probably about i would say seven or eight thousand dollars right now seven to eight thousand dollars there it goes and then the the ones on this like this one is it's a super nintendo game boy and a, a nes super bright that one right there and you know who knows four or five thousand dollars 
the next one probably about 3,000, 3,500 or something. You know, so the, just the signs right there is about 25 grand, possibly. Um, you know, hell, even the dang Twisted Gaming uh, sign that I got made, that was, that was not cheap. But, uh, yeah, a lot of my displays in the game room, that's where the real money is, is the retail displays that I have in here. You know, and then these standees right here, you know, these things are worth probably about five six hundred dollars right now a piece especially her um but i did i pay that much no but retro gaming has shot up to holy hill lately <clears throat> grand theft auto and arcade machines are both poop in my diaper <laughs> are you a troll my last arcade one up I bought was Miss Pac Man from Best Buy. Nice. Oh, snap word. I might have to check out Sam's Club. Yes, yes. Sam's Club has a Street Fighter 2 cocktail table sit down um, for $2.99, which is a dang good price. Um, I almost freaking bought one, you know. Uh, Pulo, thank you. Love your channel. Appreciate it. First, I thought you were. You were trolling there for a minute. Hello, GWJ. How's it going? Damien, Demon Souls. Yes, yes. That's one of the. That's one of the games I want to. I, I, my mind's going blank. I can't really. I can't remember all the freaking games that are coming out for the PlayStation Five that I'm trying to buy. You know. Arcade One Up has talked about releasing Linkable Cruising USA and Daytona USA. They, they had to make their money on Outrun first. <laughs> hmm. Well, Deputy Van Halen, I can see a Daytona. Can I see a Cruising USA? I don't think. So. I don't know, because you know who owns Cruising USA name, right? That's Nintendo. Nintendo owns Cruising USA, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Just because Nintendo owns that name. How dare you get sack boy? Not get sack boy. Yeah, I'm just that's not that's just not my kind of game, you know. If I want to play a game that has a, you know has to do with a paper sack, I'll just put one on my head and run around the yard. What's happening with November nineteenth? Uh, I don't know. November nineteenth is uh, the over the overseas release of PlayStation Five. Has nothing to do with uh, America, though. USA or whatever. Ratchet and Clank Rift Part is the main reason I want a PS5. How dare you say you're not interested in Sack Boy? He is crying right now. Well, he can go cry. <laughs> I like it sideways, baby. <laughs> yeah, you, you like your sideways, huh? <laughs> if you live in a place. Prone to earthquakes. Do it horizontal. <laughs> That's great. Six figures easily. Unfortunately. Uh, I do have a lot of graded games that are worth a lot of money too though. Um, you know. I got Grand Theft Auto 3. I got a Killer Instinct Gold. Um, sealed copies for Nintendo 64. Those are worth pricey. Uh, just because a lot of collectors want to buy that from me. And I won't let them. Because they can't find one that's that nice. Upwards looks nicer, but the horizontal looks ugly. But vertical is much better. <laughs> it's almost three days till the American launch on PlayStation Five, and I have to wait longer. I have to wait till the nineteenth, also twenty fifth of December. Mm. <laughs> Where are you getting the, all this money, Twisted Chris? I'm a big time drug dealer. No, I'm joking. Um, I have a job and, um, uh, you know, I don't know. I just saved up money and, you know, my, well, my film company helped and stuff. I made a lot of money on my film company before and, you know, other things and stuff too, but, you know, yeah. Did you drive those black sign holders into the studs in the wall? Or are they the signs heavy? Yes. 
yes, the the uh, holders are um, their pipe, uh, their pipes, and uh, their their wood shelf on it. So yeah, the um, the signs are about thirty thirty pounds each, I think. So I mean, if one of these was to fall on me, you know, it'd kill my ass. I ain't lying. Especially that son of a bitch up there, because they're made out of freaking metal, dudes. They are made out of metal, so. Yeah, that thing fall on my head. It'd be, it'd be, uh, no more twisty gaming. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of sealed graded games. Yeah, yeah, the graded games are are crazy. Demon Souls, Godfall, and Call of Duty for my PS5. Nice. I got Cyberpunk because of your recommendation from Amazon. Forty nine ninety nine. Yes. Yeah, Cyberpunk's gonna be a dope game. It's gonna be a sick game. Oh, I'm I'm ready for that one. That's probably the most exciting game I'm ready for. That's what she's. <laughs> you think Target will give us updated on Monday or Tuesday? Possibly. Hopefully, we'll get an update from everyone. Vertical won't fit in my TV stand. Yeah, see, I don't have no gaming systems on my TV stand. Everything's open, so I can put I can put 10 PlayStations on top of each other in this game room if I needed to. Just glue them all together and make a PlayStation 30. Retro stuff and games in general are good investments. Yes, they are. Uh-huh. I got a lot of signage. I got a Nintendo 64. For fiber optic, I could probably sell easily for three thousand dollars because I got the original box. I got a, I got a super rare Xbox um, neon sign that uh, even Xbox collectors, okay, don't have it. That's right, okay, because it's super rare, super rare. Um, and a lot of, a lot of Xbox people, they always send me offers. I think the most offer I got on it right now is three grand. I denied them. Yeah. Cause I'd like to stick it to them. Cause you know, it's funny. You can be an Xbox collector, right? You know, I mean a high end Xbox collector, right? But you don't even have the Xbox neon that I got. And I'm not even an Xbox collector. Yeah. <laughs> that funny. That's funny, man. That is super funny. How many games do you own, and did you like the God of War series? Yes, I like the God of War series. How many games do I own? How many games do I own? I would say, I mean, I, shoot, I don't even inventory my crap like most people do. I probably have maybe anywhere from... 25 to 25 to 3,000 games maybe um, you know we're talking PlayStation, PS2, Nintendo 64, PS4 all of them combined you know 25 to 3,000 games maybe I mean shoot I even have games that ain't even in here they're in my storage downstairs You like Neo Geo? Yes, I do like ne I like Neo Geo. Yeah, I've always loved uh, Neo Geo stuff. Can't wait for your unboxing the PlayStation 5. It's coming if I get one. Twisted Drug Dealer. Twisted Dealer, that's funny. Flat and Gaming. You go with Twisted Gaming to Twisted Metal real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Watched you last night for the first time. Your stuff is great. Appreciate it. Love the man cave. Thank you. Give me cyberpunk now. Yes. If it ever comes out, it'll come out in December. It will. It will. It, it's it's gonna come out uh, December tenth. They're not gonna. They're not gonna uh, delay that again. They're just not gonna do it. That would be stupid if they did. I don't think they're that dumb. Excited for Cyberpunk too. Heck yeah, me too. I can't wait to see all the 
the beautiful robot women in there. Woo-wee. You think the chances are high for getting a PS5 on launch day? Well, it depends where you're going to be looking, you know. Um, you know, if you have Walmart pulled up, you have Target pulled up, you stay up all night long, you're probably going to get a PlayStation 5. Um, but, you know, a lot of people might have to work the next day. I took the, all those days off. You talked about how heavy the signs are. Have you chosen a beneficiary for your collection yet? If not, can I be standing? <laughs> oh, that's good, deputy. That's funny. Bozo, PlayStation Revolution. Hey, Bozo, you're not keeping up with the uh, the likes on this stream. We're up to 96 now. You're supposed to be keeping me updated, you nut. I remember all your classic LED signs. Oh. Uh, Yeah, they're called super brights, and then the moving ones are fiber optic, which those are the heavy hitters. The fiber optic uh, signs are the the big dogs. Those are the, those are the big money ones. Uh, the super bright ones, it's they're supposed to look like you know a neon, you know, but it has regular you know tube lights that's inside the fluorescent or whatever, and then when it glows out of the the sign is supposed to look like a, a, a neon, you know what I mean? Um, but the fiber optics, it has the color wheel and it has all the, you know, little plastic. It's freaking nuts. And they even got a dang fan in those things to keep them, um, to keep them cool. It's, it's crazy. Um, did you enter the way to win the Xbox Series X fridge? Nope, never entered that. Oh, I didn't even know there was a contest going on. Are you going to get the Neo Geo Arcade from Amazon? Are you talking about the Arcade 1-Up version? Uh, you know, the Arcade 1-Up 3 fourths one? Is that what you're talking about? I'm a PS5 fanboy, but this year Xbox won the console war. <laughs> uh, we will see. You will update us. You don't got it, or you will get... You will up, you will updated us. You don't got it, or you will do get the console. Ooh, gotta gotta uh, got my mind confused, Jay. Uh, yeah, I'll update I'll update y'all and let y'all know if I get the console or not. I mean, we're gonna go live anyways on launch night. We're gonna stay up all night long, baby. And so we're gonna go live and shoot. We might even stream me trying to get one or something. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty funny. You can see how pissed off I really get. Just tuned in. Great channel. Appreciate it. If you're looking for PS5, hit up Target. If you want an Xbox, hit up GameStop. They will have extra on launch day, but it's very limited. Oh, yeah. It will be. Congratulations on hitting 100 likes. Oh, wow. We made 100 likes, huh? Look at that. We got 100 likes on this stream, and I didn't even beg at all. Ain't that neat? That's neat, man. Because I don't like begging. I'm in the UK. Don't get our PS5 till 19. Yeah, that's true. Hey, even we even got um, $8.90 in donations on the stream. Ain't that, dollar, ain't that neat? $8.90. And guess what? I didn't even beg for that. Is that pretty neat? That's neat, man. Now, there's a real version of Neo Geo Arcade at, at $4.99 with the stand without $4.49. No, that's that's not the r real version though. That's just like an arcade one-up, three-four skills though. That's yeah, I know what you're talking about. They they're they're um, it's coming out in November. But yeah, it ain't a real Neo Geo arcade though. <laughs> it's just kind of like the arcade one-up crap. Enjoy your Xbox with minimum lackluster exclusives. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, that's fine with me. I will watch your live while I'm trying to get my PS5 from Target at midnight. Nice, nice, Jay. That's nice. Thumbs up this live as you always walk into your door with your co-host. <laughs> oh, bozo, bozo. That's enough for Starbucks. That's neat. MVSX. Yes, that's what it's called. MVSX. Yeah. 
yeah, it, you know, I got kind of upset with that goofy company because, you know, they had a review unit going around, right? And I don't know how many people they sent it out to. And I emailed them weeks before that even unit even existed was going out. And I asked them, hey, can I, you know, have a, uh, a review unit or whatever? Because, um, you know, I know my arcade games and I've been playing arcade Neo Geo SNK crap since I was a kid, right? So I'd be a good reviewer, right? And then I'd just send the garbage back or whatever, right? I never even got a freaking email, right? And and then they send the review unit out, and I see all the people that got the review unit of the system or the arcade, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I could name three to four people, okay, they got that review unit, and they don't know nothing, okay, about arcades, okay, like I do, okay. There's one of them that got a unit that thinks he knows gaming, but he don't know crap, okay. He don't. He don't. But um, we won't get into that because, you know, I don't want any beef because I always win that. I always win beef. Um, let's see. Do you play any sports games? <clears throat> um, yes, I do, but um, my favorite sports game would probably be um. Oh well, I had a brain fart, but uh, yeah, most people are gonna laugh. My favorite sports game is golf, baby. Okay, golf. Okay, I like golf. Okay, that's why I spent five thousand dollars on a Golden Tee twenty twenty over there, because I like golf games. Okay, I love golf. I don't know why, but I I love it. It's peaceful. And shoot, I could watch a golf game. Okay, on the TV. Okay, for ten hours straight. It's just peaceful, and I love all the beautiful trees and the greenery and all that. That BS. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah. But uh yeah, yeah, Techno Bowl, yeah, yeah. I like I like football games too. I actually ordered uh, Madden twenty one for the PlayStation four slash PlayStation five um on Target last night for twenty nine ninety nine, baby. Um so yeah, that was in I talked about that in my video uh that came out this morning on the Black Friday sales of Target. They're having, you know, um deals on that so I was like I might as well grab it for 30, 30 bucks now the Blitz games were were um, great on like the Nintendo 64 and stuff I, I enjoyed that now, let me see here PS5 load slower it can't don't do 14k like the Xbox can PS run, run hotter and only have 8 gigabyte S1 tour and I can keep going Xbox One <laughs> I'd have to disagree with you on that. Um, PlayStation 5 is not going to load slower than the Xbox. Uh, that's been proven. Um, supposedly, PlayStation 5 has the fastest solid-state drive faster than freaking PCs right now, okay? Um, so I don't believe that. Uh, they can't do 14, 40... Yeah, but they'll they can do um they can do a patch later if they want to and then it would work. Okay. PlayStation 5 run hotter. Again, that's another BS lie from uh Xbox fanboys. Um PlayStation 5 does not overheat, okay, at all. It doesn't overheat. I know a p couple people that got PlayStation 5s. They don't overheat. It's cool. Now, that doesn't mean that the PlayStation 5 overheats in the kiosk, okay? Okay, because it's trapped in that, you know, the goofy design. They screwed up on that. But your PlayStation 5 at your house is not going to overheat, okay? Don't be looking at these stupid pictures on the internet that has a screen that says, turn off your PlayStation 5 because it overheated. That's, that picture was taken most likely in a, from a kiosk, okay? Uh, I, I don't believe any of that BS.
Target has 50 to 7 PS5s at my local Target. Nice. Unico Neo Geo, I hear, has worse buttons than Arcade 1 Up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's see. I love my Neo Geo Mini. I play it on my 65 inch TV. Got the bundle for 69 bucks at Walmart. Nice. Yeah, I have the Christmas version. If you're talking about the same thing, Bozo. The little arcade mini one. <clears throat> I bought that a few years ago. 21 at my target. Nice. NBA Jam. Oh, man, you can't you can't talk about NBA Jam. I love NBA Jam, man. Jeez. NBA Jam. Um, tournament Edition. NBA hang time those were killer games dudes those were killer games i got something for you watch this check this out i got something special for you <clears throat> all right you ready for this one i'm talking about nba jam right bam Bam! Now, some of you have seen this before, but NBA Jam Tournament Edition for Super Nintendo Mint Conditioned Sealed Copy. Woo! Man, that's sexy, ain't it? Good night. Wow. That is wow. <laughs> um, Love the Tournament Edition. That was dope. A video was just posted about the Series X loading games faster on last gen games. And it does it in several games. I haven't seen anything on next gen. Hmm. Now, yeah, well, time will tell. I've been on Xbox 19 years, but Sony truly is the only next generation console this time around. He's on fire. Iconic. Well, I love my NBA Jam arcade cab. Uh, you're talking about your arcade one up, uh, NBA Jam. How is that? You really like it? It's pretty, pretty dope. I, I saw a arcade, no, uh, uh, NBA Jam arcade, the real deal from back in the day. Um, there was a guy selling one local. Uh, he wanted like three grand for that sucker though. And then another friend um, that this machine was like seven hours away and he couldn't pick it up to store it anywhere. And I was like, oh, gosh. I think this other guy uh, wanted 1500 for it and I wanted it so bad. But my friend couldn't get it for me. So, <laughs> Review Tech USA, he just uploaded the video one hour ago and compared the speed and PS5 hard drive. Hard drive is disabled at launch. Yeah, I don't really really believe anything. Review Tech USA says that guy's a, a foo foo. Tell him to come over and get with me on my channel. That's the update but I'm waiting for him. My RK went up, shaking my head. <laughs> Re Review Tech USA is a big YouTuber that knows his stuff. Yeah, and he talks about a bunch of BS, too. He's only in it for the money. So, there's that. <laughs> you love it. Twisted Gaming. Nice, Bozo. Yeah, I wanted to get it at one time, but... You know. I didn't end up getting it. Review Tech USA is Tostic. Yes, he is. He just he puts four four videos up a day, okay? But he knows his stuff, right? Get me out of here. Get out of here with that. I guarantee that fool don't know don't know more than anything about gaming than I do. I promise you that, okay? Because what's his backdrop, huh? On his YouTube. Let's get twisted here, right? The Review Tech USA guy, right? Let's talk some crap, right? What does he have in his background, huh? Two screens, huh? Two two TV screens of horsies, you know, and they talk to him and stuff. Get out of here, dude. I mean, 
Come on, look at my background, okay? I mean, shoot, we got standees, okay? We got, you know, we got candy, we got, shoot, we've got a freaking neon, okay? Nintendo original neon, if you want to get real, okay? Let's put it on. You know? Let's do it. Now, you probably can't see it in the video, but because it's too freaking bright. Oh, man. Darn, I don't got it plugged in. Hold on, let me unplug my Christmas tree. Let's see. You want to see this? Look at that. Bam! Look at that. Nintendo. Look at that. Now, of course, it's, you know, it's so bright that it's screwing up the, the slot. I mean, the um, video. But, yeah, that's a Nintendo Neon right there, original, okay? The blue version. So, you're telling me that guy's a gamer, huh? Mm. Ah! That's great, man. Review Tech USA and he does gaming. Yeah. He's just talking about PlayStation 5 because it's a hot topic. What's his other videos talk about? TV screen? Get out of here with that. Oh, let's see. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. I like some rap. Um, I I like um, I like metalcore. You know, um, metalcore music. Um, and then I like kind of like music like um, like I have on my um, ending. You know, like the game on. You know, I always love music with with beautiful uh, girl voices and stuff. And you know, it has all the beats and stuff. I love all that. Man, it's great. What time are you streaming on November 11th? I don't know yet. Maybe we'll start to stream around, you know, um, 9 p.m. or something. I'll announce something uh, this week when I'm going to go live to get y'all prepared. It wasn't his stuff. He showed someone else's video. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> Only thing, just waiting for the term edition update. Oh, okay, on the arcade machine, yeah. He talks for Chewie and Mr. Ed, who Wilbur laugh out loud. Love the PS5 controller, so do I. Where is that goofy thing at again? Oh, yeah, here we are. Yes. PlayStation 5 controller. That is pretty, man. Game on, dudes. <laughs> Got the controller. I can't even use it yet. Chris, your background is real and wicked cool, brother. I appreciate it. Review Tech is a drama channel. He talks about everything for clicks. Exactly. Okay, that's the difference between me and... And Gamer Review Tech, or whatever his name is, gay. Okay? I'm a realist, okay? I don't care about the money or the, you know, whatever, you know? It's all about realness and, you know, gaming and, you know, I'm a nerd, okay? I'm a game nerd, okay? I mean, why do you think I, uh, you know, pulled all beautiful girls in my life, okay? Because they like nerds, okay? And he's just a, a, a goof. So there's that. But, yeah. He just does it for the clicks and and money, you know what I mean? Why do you think he... He uh, brings out four videos a day? I mean, come on now. What do you think the chances of getting a PS5 on launch day are? Honestly, uh... 50-50%, um, 50% you're going to get a PlayStation 5, and 50% you're not. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just up in the air until we know something next week. Hopefully, we'll get some more details, like maybe Monday or Tuesday or something. Uh, so, we'll see. Favorite rappers. Gosh. 
favorite rappers. Uh, oh, my favorite, Three Six Mafia. DJ Paul, Three Six Mafia. Been banging them since '93. Now, other than that, um, Tupac. Um, you know the real rappers. You know, not not Mickey Mouse rappers of today. Um, but yeah, Tupac, um, Easy E. You know, but one of my favorites, Three Six Mafia. Uh, triple six, you know. I love them. Uh, PS5 hype, then on to Ratchet hype. Oh, yeah. Once the PlayStation 5 uh, launch is over and stuff, you know, Review Tech USA or whatever his name is, he ain't gonna be talking about no PlayStation 5 no more. He's gonna jump on the bandwagon or something else, you know what I mean? <laughs> Four away from 110 thumbs up. Holy moly, man. Holy moly. Review tech are only dislike right now. <laughs> Maybe. I love being silly nerd and my sexy girls on my walls. Yes. <laughs> Little pump. I like that you're very real. Who else you enjoy from YouTube? <laughs> um... You know, the only, uh, let's see. The only really person I watch on YouTube, um, well, big dogs anyways, uh, is Dr. Disrespect. I love Dr. Disrespect. Um, probably the most entertaining streamer there is, um, I've watched Ninja before, not to bash him, but Ninja's boring, um, and there's a couple other people that are, that are boring, but I loved it, Dr. Disrespect a lot, I really like him a lot, Mickey Mouse friend, <laughs> Review Tech, Review Tech USA is pro Microsoft anyways, oh, I'm sure. That that would make sense. Where are you going to order your PS5 on November twelfth? Walmart, Target, Amazon, or other? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have Walmart and Target pulled up. Maybe Amazon too. Um, but yeah. Oh, Easy E, yeah, Easy E was. Oh yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I mean, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Three Six Mob is. Go to Yellow Wolf and Jelly Row are some of my favorites. Yeah, Yellow Wolf's awesome too. Yeah, but um, yeah, Three Six Mafia they they were my favorite. Um, just because th their lyrics and their um, it, it's just bone crunching. You know what I mean? Amazon could be the sneaky one. Yeah, they could be. <laughs> Biggie, yeah, yeah. Biggie had some good songs. Um. But I was a Tupac fanboy, you know. West Side. <laughs> oh, man. It was great. Hey, bearded brother looking fly, my man. Appreciate it. LKG. Well, I guess the stream's going good now. Um, We had a couple of hiccups earlier when the, um, the internet kind of went out the last 20 or 30 seconds. So that was a boo-boo. Yeah, Best Buy has a countdown. I've heard of it. I don't know what that means, though. Yeah, Big Pun was great, too. Yes, he was. Uh, uh, man, he didn't live that long, though. Oh, another thing, you know, since I'm in Texas, you know, I like uh, I like DJ Screw, too. Uh, you know, the originator of uh, screwed and chopped up music. Yeah, I, he was awesome. Oh, and you know an another one I like, Master P. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, that <laughs> I love Master P. That that guy was a nut, man, and he he made a lot of lot of money too, quick. I think he's worth four hundred million right now. It's crazy. 
Your thoughts when Walmart should start charging for PlayStation 5? I'm wave one, by the way. This has just got me on the edge since I haven't gotten charged yet. <laughs> yeah, but usually on pre-orders, they don't charge until they're about to get ready to ship. You know what I mean? So I'd give it a few days. Wish Bone from the Bone Thugs and one of my neighbors. It's one of my neighbors. We were chatting outside one day. I didn't know who he even was. I'm an 80s rock kind of guy. Nice. Everybody done shopping online for the evening? Psst. Did you get my message about the podcast? I love you on my show. Man, you're awesome, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, I might have to come in, come on sometime. When I have the time. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to possibly come on, yeah. Is your game cave in your home or separate structure? Uh, it's, um... It's separate. It's, um... Let's see, uh... Let's see if I can pull up a picture. I don't know how well it would show on my phone. Though. Let me see. God, I take too many... take too many pictures on my phone. It's crazy, man. Where are they? Where are they? I'd show you them on the computer if I had, if I had one. But yeah, it, it's totally separate though. It's a two-story building. Um, my house is on the right side, and the the garage is on the bottom of this, and um, and then the game room's on top. So it's two-story. If if you go on my past videos, um, like if you go on my playlist, check on my playlist, building of the game room, and it'll show on there. And I don't know where the, I don't know where the pictures are. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you can see it on this, but <laughs> if you if you look. You can see the house on one side, and where you see the cars um, on one side, that's the game room up top and the garage below. See what I'm saying? Uh, and then this is the this is another shot of just the game room. Um, so it's it's pretty much bigger than my house. Um, definitely taller. So pretty pretty nutty, and I got pretty lights on there. And it glows, it's nice, ain't it? Let's see, where's the where's that other picture that's pretty dope? Yeah, this is when I tried to um make my house look like the Joker house. Cause sorry about the glare. Um it has um purple and green lights. Yeah, I just it's not showing up on there that good, but anywho. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's separate. No limit. Yes, about it, about it. Oh, man, DMX. Yeah, DMX, dude. He was awesome, man. I remember that. What's the first game you popping in the PS5? Uh, Well, it would have been Cyberpunk, but since it got delayed... Uh... I don't know. I really don't know which one I'm going to be popping in first. Probably Call of Duty. <laughs> Just to see how good it looks on there. <laughs> I wish I was rich, but no, I'm not. Looks awesome, colorful, yeah. Tough man, great work. I'm confused on the camping part. If they only have five and there's 20 people outside, how do they decide who gets one? Whoever's first in line. But I don't think there's camping going on, though, unless if GameStop does it. <laughs> they do tickets with numbers. Yeah, some people do, yeah. Man, when people sell the spots, that's funny. Okay, thank you for everyone that's putting up the PlayStation 5 games now. Okay, yeah. Um 
yeah, Godfall, Demon Souls. Oh man, there's so many good games. I don't know which I would put in first, to be honest with you. <clears throat> what do you think about all these virtual pinball machines? Do you plan to get one? <clears throat> what from like the arcade one up or whatever, and um, the um, other company that's doing one? I don't know. You know. Here's my thoughts, okay? And if you got the money to play with, do this. You know, if you have the money, don't buy the virtual pinball machines from Arcade 1-Up and all that garbage, okay? I'll tell you where to go. I'll type it in, okay? If you can't afford a real arcade machine, here's the next best thing, okay? WW. Why is this all in caps? It's stupid. WW. <laughs> okay. There's a link for you. It should be. <laughs> Recroommasters.com. Okay. Go there. They got virtual pinball. Now, what you need to understand is this company builds high quality stuff, but none of it comes with the screen. And none of it comes with the, the guts would make the game work. You know what I mean? It's just the buttons, the setup, and everything. You know what I mean? It's not like an arcade one-up or these other ones where you buy it out of box and it works right away. Okay, you got to put some a little brain into it. But, you know, there, they'd be better because I think the arcade one-up pinball is probably um, a 24-inch screen, I think, maybe in that. And if you're, if you're going to... Um, uh, uh, play a virtual pinball i'd rather have like a a, a 42 inch table or a 48 inch or, or whatever the the regular and rec room masters have that so yeah i mean there's a lot of crap Parking lots will be flooded with cars, equipment, and camping, but you wouldn't even be able to get into the parking lot of some of these places. Yeah, but I don't even think you can even get in the store to buy a PlayStation 5. I think they're only being sold online, though. That's the whole the whole crazy thing. They want you to stay home. I got five games, and I want to get an SD on day one, but Sony said it'd be disabled from day one. Yes. Yes, they're, um, they're disabling it for some reason. I don't know why. I just talked to Target, Best Buy, I think the way to go, Best Buy might be going live at 12. That what I just told, that mean Monday night for Xbox, and Wednesday night for PS5, nice. So basically the store will just go off your word if you say you were the first in line. No, people that camp at those stores, it's the first one at the store and they just never move. So people know who is there first if you know if you do camp and if you were to camp just take a picture of yourself being there first or second or whatever with other people you know and hopefully they got your back you know have you heard of any amazon xbox pre-order shipping haven't heard anything from them i ordered a mega cad i just have to wait now nice someone will punch you if you try to cut yeah James Downey Gibbs, get a life. <laughs> From Extreme Home Arcades, nice. You line up like school line single file. Mm -hmm. I've seen them online a lot. They do have some great top notch. And then James Downey Gibbs, disgusting rat. Whoever this nut is, who knows. <sighs> disgusting rat, huh? Wow, that's nice. So anyways, yeah. I wonder if they had the Adams family in need for speed for pinball. Hmm. I don't know. Food shortage. Yeah, but everyone will be picking up consoles that morning. Plus people will be already chilling in the parking lot throughout the night and morning. <laughs> yeah, that's that's if they let you camp though. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. 
Walmart said there was no camping. Best Buy said there was no camping. So I don't know. Okay. We're going to put James Dowdy Gibbs in timeout. Oh, no. I deleted his message on accident. Whoops. Crazy. How did you get the money to buy all that gaming stuff? I worked. James Danny Gibbs was sent by Brick Rod. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Yeah, I put him in timeout. So if he pulls that BS again, I'll um, I'll remove him or something. We'll see what I can do. If I hide user on this channel, I think it just hides it from me. I don't know if it hides it from everybody else. Mm. But anyways, today's Saturday. So, you know, five more days for PlayStation 5. And then, um, let's see, three more days for Xbox Series X. Ooh, going to be crazy, ain't it? It's gonna be crazy, man. Gosh, that's gonna be crazy. I'm uh, getting a little nervous. But yeah, um, got some Halloween candy left over. Um, but yeah, I just I just wish everybody good luck. You know what I mean? And hope that um, we all or most of us are stopped and gets a PlayStation Five. You know. But if you already got one pre-ordered, you know, good for you. You know, that's good job on that one. I tried to do it on wave one and it was just a total flop. I was on target and the, oh man, the thing kept screwing up. And then one of my friends said, hey, they got PlayStation 5s on Sam's Club, right? Gosh, I went on there and. They still had them, yet, you know, I forgot my password or one of the credit card info was wrong or something, right? And it, it didn't go through, and then I got it corrected, went back, and it was gone. <laughs> I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. Well... I guess that's all for now. Um, I just wanted to do a quick stream. I know we've been on here longer than I was going to. I was only going to stream for an hour and talk. But uh, we've been on here for like three hours. I'm like, God, Lee. You know, I get a little lose of time and stuff. But I just... Um, Just keep your eyes open this week. You know, don't worry about tomorrow. Relax on Sunday. But Monday, just keep your eyes peeled because who knows what kind of news we're going we're gonna to have days before launch. I mean, it, it might be nuts. You know what I mean? Who knows? Oh, I get what you mean, last known element. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, drive up or pick up. I get what you mean, right in the cars. <laughs> Can you make somebody blue like myself? <laughs> well, you were on those likes, aren't you, Bozo? 110 likes, huh? <laughs> oh, Sunday. Sunday's already there, huh? Chris M. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Saturday here. My PS5 ships on Monday from Gamefly. Nice. I got my first arcade, XRK machine. The dudes that made tank sticks. Yeah, I know who they are. What's up, Twisted? First time in stream. Welcome. 
Tigers. Yeah, I've been streaming for three hours. Unfortunately, I'm about to end it because I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go eat something. I'm starting to get hungry. Welcome, new people in the live. What did your wife ask for Christmas? My wife asked for kitchen stuff. I want a bulletproof vest. <laughs> I don't know what my wife wants for Christmas. Hmm. I haven't even asked her. Do you know if Best Buy is doing in-store pickup or delivery? I think, you know, you, you got to pick up your system if you've pre-ordered one. Um, do they deliver it to you? I don't know. Hopefully we can all get PS5 on launch day. Yeah, that would be great. I pray for you all to get a PS5. Thank you, Tigers. Gamefly is the only reason I got a PS5. Who would have thought Gamefly would have had PS5 for pre-order? I didn't know. So, yeah, that's wild. I got to wait till the 19th. Sorry about that, Zach Power. <clears throat> Vincent Wilson, thanks for the stream and advice and stuff. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on. Bozo, I want clothes, and all I want is game systems and arcades. Yeah, because we're all freaking nerds. If you're on this stream, you're a nerd, okay? We're all freaking nerds. Go watch Revenge of the Nerds. Good movie, by the way. I think they made like three or four of those. Um, <laughs> Trey Robinson. So what's the time we think and Target is going live? The word on the street, Trey, is... 12 a.m. midnight okay that's what people are saying for target going live is it real we don't know but 12 a.m. is the word that's going around right now so we'll see best makes you do in store pickup before the they open i wasn't able to get them to ship it ah i just started watching you because i needed news on ps5 so i appreciate you making these no problem Yes, it is nerds that goofball with the glasses. He's a mess. Oh, I like that. Booger was the best character in Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, that guy was awesome. Oh, man. I'm pumped for Demon Souls. Are you? Yes, I am. Stay fresh. All right, thanks for the content. Unrated content. <laughs> Appreciate it. I can't really pronounce your name. Strikies? Strikies? I can't even talk. You know I've been streaming for a long time. I don't even know how to talk more. <laughs> Just want to say I enjoy the content. Man, you seem less energetic. Maybe because it's been a long day. But yeah, you deserve so much more. Keep up the good work. Funny you say that because I've been up since... Um, 3.15 a.m. So, yeah. Been a long day. Very long day. Booker said, I hate nerds. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I'm hype, able. Call of Duty, sack boy, to play with my son. Nice. That's going to be a good one, Jose. Bozo the Clown is giving us an update that we have 116 likes on this stream now. <laughs> I'm taking a day off from work on November 12th. Yeah, I did the same thing. Smart. You're smart for doing that. Very smart. Yeah, I've been watching you, Trippy Mail Mail, and Jay Randall on the new updates the past week or so. Good stuff, guys. Thanks for everything. Well, I appreciate you coming here. I sent my wife on vacation that weekend. <laughs> what, the weekend of the, the launch? That's funny. Do you recommend any stools for your arcades? Um, <laughs> The best stools I've found before... um are um ones that are on amazon.com i can't remember what uh brand or anything on there but i would look on amazon.com for stools and, and see what you think you'd like 
because there's some real nice ones. And shoot, they even got some that are leather on there, minor leather. So the ones in stock on my Pop Finder are for sale, not pre-order ones. Sorry to bug. Yes, so supposedly the ones that shows stock on the Pop Finder are the, the new stock for launch. The launch stock. Not for the not the people that are already pre ordered, okay, because if you already pre ordered a system, it wouldn't show the stock um on there that somebody already pre ordered the PlayStation five because that's already marked sold, you know what I mean? So yeah, supposedly this is new stock and this is only for launch. Do you recommend any stools? Oh yeah, I already got past this, sorry. I will be on my target at twenty four seven till that time comes. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all will. Boy, that 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 site ain't gonna be ready, is it? Awesome stream, man. Thanks for answering all my questions. What day of the upcoming week will you be streaming so I can tune in? Um, I'll probably start streaming live on Wednesday. You know, on the eleventh, because I'm gonna be up all night. So just come on Twisted Gaming TV YouTube channel. And we're gonna we're gonna be there with you. Okay. Did I pre order the PS5? Not yet. Hope, hopefully I'm gonna get it on launch, maybe. Do you plan to hang that Nintendo blue sign or keep it on the current surface? Man, I like it. I don't know, it's been sitting on here for a while. Um I don't know. I got some more signs too that I have in the storage below that I hadn't even put in here yet. So I mean, I got a lot of I got a lot of rare stuff you ain't even seeing in this game room. I got old Nintendo 64 banners, you know, for like um, uh, Mario Party. I mean, all kinds of crap. I got Call of Duty. Black Ops, the original Black Ops, full blown standy, just like these, um, in the garage. I mean, it's just too much crap. <laughs> Love your content, man. The best, brother. Appreciate it. I've already got my address and payment info in Walmart and Target. Not sure if any of the retailers are going to have many or not. We will see. Trey Robertson, thank you, man. You're welcome, Mr. MM. Target and Walmart is our best chances. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Target and Walmart is probably your best chance. What headset would you recommend for PS5 apart from Sony ones? Um I don't know to be honest with you. What I use is I use uh Sony Studio headsets that I have right here. And then I have a um, a blue mic, which is um, one of the best mics you can get. So that's what I use. But standalone, that you know, that you know, like the like these Pulse ones or whatever. But other than the these Pulse ones, I don't know. I don't really know what I would recommend because I really don't use. Um, these kind of things like that. Say so what more LED signs hidden away? I got a few more. I got a um I got an Xbox. I got an Xbox um LED sign. I have an actual Xbox retail display case that actually glows green still brand new in the box um i mean just a lot of crap i even got another arcade machine in one of my storage buildings um also it's original mortal kombat one cabinet but somebody put a stupid Oh, they put a stupid retro pie in there and and made the TV a flat screen. It pissed me off. But I bought um I bought the uh I bought the cabinet 
because it's the original Mortal Kombat 1 cabinet. You know, because it has that weird shape on the front. It's not straight, flat. It's kind of curved or whatever, angled or whatever. I bought it for the cab just in case I want to I wanna do a project on it uh, sometime. So... What are the best apps to check for PS5? Um, well, I did. One of the best ones is um, what I showed. Now, what's what's that other app called? Stock or something? I can't remember. But well, there's a lot of apps out there. I'm in central time, Mr. M.M. How's the Cruising USA, the, the, um, my arcade machine? Pretty good. I haven't played it in probably like a week, but... I love that thing. That was funny because I got it for a hundred bucks, and then it only had a monitor issue. Ooh, that's sour. Gosh, and forty bucks to fix the monitor issue, and then it needed a woo, um, a new power supply. I think that was sixty bucks. So I have about two hundred dollars and to the. Uh, cruising USA arcade machine. Great deal, though. <laughs> it really froze up on me when you read my questions. It's funny. I got the Sony Pulse, and they feel too heavy to play for long playing sections. What's happening? Twisted Gaming, love your arcade setup. Do you have... NFL Blitz and Killer Instinct. <laughs> yes, I have. I have Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct 2. I don't have NFL Blitz, but there is an, an NFL Blitz arcade machine local to me for sale. I've had my eyes on that crap too. But yeah, here's the, here's my killers. Uh, let me see if I can. It's kind of dark over there, so I don't know if you can see it or not. But. Killer Instinct 1, Killer Instinct 2, Ultimate, Mortal Kombat 4, Cruising USA. I got all my Christmas crap out. <laughs> Trying to get ready for Christmas time. Yes, Christmas time. <laughs> now you need a cruise in the world. I need all the cruisings, okay? You know, I need the cruising blast, but that's not like nine thousand uh, dollars. I don't want to pay nine grand. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a nice deal on the cruising USA. Definitely a deal. Yeah, hundred bucks. You know, had everything in it. 40 bucks to fix the CRT issue that was having problems and you know 50 60 bucks I think for the uh, new power supply and then BAM it works crazy <laughs> that's the cheapest arcade I've I've paid for in this place let's see let's see that out of the fighting games Killer Instinct 1 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 um, was probably my expensive fighting games in here. Those both cost two grand each, uh, but they were mint. They're mint condition, so I didn't give a crap what I paid for them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I bet you don't ever get bored. Yeah, not really. I mean, I'm doing. I'm always doing something. I used to love NBA Jam in the arcade. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I would I would love an arcade 
of NBA Jam in this game room. Um, like I said, there's been a few. One of them I could have got for a good price, but it was too far away, and my friend was going to pick it up, and he couldn't do it. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that sucks. But arcades come and go, so, you know, there's always... Um, there's always something popping up. I mean, when I found my Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 arcade, super, super mint condition, I was so happy about it because I, I was. it took me two years to find it, okay? Now, I've, yes, I've seen a, a few, a slight few other Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 machines, but they were trashed. I mean, they were trashed. And this one is all original and 99% mint. Uh, and plus, it has the Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2 boards in it, you know, with the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 original arcade. So it has all three games on there, original boards and everything on Switch. are pretty dope. Get Dance Dance Revolution Arcade. Oh, my gosh. That thing's too big. I mean, geez. I'd have to move the Golden T and the... Uh, the two arcade one-ups and put it over here. I mean, <laughs> those things are big, man. Too big. You're the man over there. Thank you. You have to put them together? Uh-uh. No, I didn't have to put, put them together, no. Mm -mm. No, these are the original arcade machines we're talking about from back in the 90s. They're, there ain't no putting nothing together on those things. Um, they're 400 pound craziness. Are you planning on doing live stream on launch day? Yes. I will start Wednesday. Don't know what time yet, but I'll keep y'all updated during this week, upcoming week. Oh, you're talking about the best apps? Well, I was saying on the apps, I don't I don't know what they're called. Uh one of them is, is stock sopped and stock it or I don't I don't know. I don't even know if I even have it on my phone anymore. Oh, hot stock. There that that's one. Um hot stock is one of them. But then, you know, you have your one I, I said in another video, if you go to their website, um, it's, um, what was that? Popfinder.com. P-O-P-F-I-N-D-R.com. I mean, that'll actually tell you where the stock is, you know, um, but I don't know. <laughs> Do you keep a beer keg tabbed in your bar area? A tab or arcade would be right at home in your game room. I don't, I don't have that, but boy, it sounds like I need to. Yeah, I just usually have stuff in bottles and everything. You the king of arcades. <laughs> I would have been if I um, would have got to open my arcade before the, uh, the virus started. Thank God I didn't... Uh, open it before that happened that would have been a, a fluke and a lot of money lost twisted gaming how are you feeling right now i'm feeling great but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut down the stream because i gotta go eat and i gotta i'm working this weekend so I got to get up at 3 a.m. to go to work for a little bit. But, um, yeah. Reason asking, have you contacted your fans about the PS5? They might let you buy, or are you just going to contact them after? <laughs> yeah, I have a couple of, I have a couple of subscribers that said that, um, if I didn't get a PlayStation 5 on launch day, that they uh, they have a couple of extras that they would um, sell me. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, go eat. Heard your belly growling. Really? I didn't even hear my belly growling. 
It's crazy, man. Yeah, I can, I can talk to y'all another 20 hours. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to cut it off, okay? Because y'all are going to stay and we're going to talk. And it's going to be, you know, we're going to have an eight-hour stream of talking. But, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be going. Um, I'll be streaming this week, though. Uh, definitely be streaming Friday for the new Call of Duty Cold War when it comes out. Um, we'll be streaming Wednesday and Thursday of launch day. So, um, yeah, we'll be streaming a lot. So, and if I get any updates or anything before any of y'all or whatever, then, you know, I'll shoot a video up and, uh, we'll see what goes from there. But as we get closer, it's going to be a stressful week. So <laughs> it's going to be stressful. But uh, anyways, thanks for um, everybody watching the stream. Um, and Bozo the Clown, a.k.a. Bozo Calvin Jr., he thanks you for liking this live stream video. Because <laughs> he's kept up with it the whole time. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy this channel. Um, like I said in, in, in the end of all my streams, um, if you're new to the channel, go to some of my playlists. Um building of the game room um there's a playlist of my arcade machines um you know just look at old videos there's a lot of there's a lot on here i think i got over 340 videos i think within two years a lot of good content if you're into it modern gaming retro gaming anyways y'all have a great night uh i'll see y'all in a few days for the craziness that is coming get ready anyways Thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I always comment back. Till next video, see y'all later. Peace. Thanks for watching.